Hello everybody! Welcome back to Outer Wilds Echoes of the Eye. I, I feel like I'm getting quite close to the end now. I feel like I'm getting to the point where I potentially don't have much left to do to like... Well, I, I have loads left to do. Like the game is massive and has lots of achievements, but I think I'm getting close to unraveling all of the mysteries of the DLC. So I am extremely excited for today. <laughs> also nervous. I'm also really nervous. I I don't know. I I don't know if I'm just like sad at the thought that it could be close to the end. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe there'll be loads that that still I haven't unlocked yet. Like maybe I'll end up in a third world. Another digital world inside a world like Inception style. Who knows? I don't know anything. <laughs> But a welcome, everybody! Welcome, welcome! Lumsev, congratulations on the first! And also, thank you for the hydrate. Let me start with that. Start with brain cells. As it should be. <laughs> oh, I held it. I, I blocked my camera with it. Oops. There we go. Thank you for the hydrate! Welcome, welcome! Welcome in, Bree! Welcome in, Tim! Welcome Teffy, welcome Luna, welcome Surface Tenshi, El Castor Candente, thank you for stopping in, hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome to, um, I know what I gotta do and I'm a little bit scared, but I think it'll be fine. I believe, I, I know what I gotta do. I've also, um, like I've been thinking about this throughout the week, I've been thinking, I'm pretty sure I know what I have to do to at least, um, spoilers beginning, to at least open the vault. <laughs> like, I've got all of the keys to open that now. If I just simply throw myself on a fire, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking I'll be able to, to get past that alarm. But I don't know what I'm going to do after that. And I also had some really funny thoughts of things that I could potentially do as well that aren't the actual um, what I should do. Like, I've, I've had many thoughts of bad things that I can do to maybe get like another ending where I break the fabric of space-time and stuff like that. <laughs> I've been thinking, I've been theorizing like silly ideas in my head. I'm just, I, I look at what I have to do and then I go, what's the worst thing I could possibly do in this situation? Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Like, when I found the prototype and I was immediately just like, does this explode? Can I explode myself with it? <laughs> the most fun times. And oh, Luna! It was lovely getting to see me at the panel at Ofkai. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you could make it. I was surprised by how many people were there. It was really nice. Uh, they, they actually ended up having to cut, cut off the line for questions because it was running on too long. <laughs> But oh, thank you! I'm so glad you. I hope I hope you had a good time at Off Guy too. And Psychic Salad, hello. If I tried nuking it, I I have not got any nukes. But I do have an idea on um. No, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm just gonna do it afterwards. Maybe, maybe we'll see how it goes. I may still have loads of stuff left to do. Like, I've got all these ideas for silly things. I may not even get around to that. I genuinely have no idea how much of this is left. But I, I feel like I'm getting close. I feel like I'm really close now. So I'm extremely excited. I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> it's going to be fun. But yes, I want to break all the things. I want to break everything. It's. I, th I feel like part of the fun of this game is like, it's the fun of doing things how you should and figuring things out. But also, like, just that... That pure scientific exploration, experimentation, what would happen if I do this thing? I think it's going to break the fabric of space-time, but I want to try it anyway. Oh, would you look at that? I, I destroyed everything. <laughs> like, the freedom to try that, the freedom to experiment is a lot of fun. But uh, I'm, I'm really excited for this. I don't know what to start with. I don't know whether to start by just going straight for it, for, like, trying to open the vault I kind of really want to try it because I've been thinking in my head like I think the best plan of action would be to enter from 
from the gorge because I know the gorge like that location is set into the side of the cliff that is like the safest fire because the other fires are all a little bit precarious and like the first two definitely go out so I'm not going to go there third one seems the most secure fourth one is in the vault which could still potentially fall into the into the water more so that's less safe so I think I want to enter at the third the, the third um entry point well I've, I've kind of just been numbering them one two three four in my head <laughs> but number three we're going for lucky door number three also akire hello welcome welcome thank you for for the snake encouragement and the headpad i hope you're doing well i hope everyone's been having a good weekend though i've i've been having a very fun weekend but i'm a little bit tired only a little bit though i actually managed to get some sleep today so I've been doing a lot. I've been busy. I stayed up late, but I also slept in late. So <laughs> so it kind of uh, evens out in the end. But yeah, my, my plan of action, I think, is I'm going to go to the stranger. I'll go to the third area, the, the gorge. Uh, I'll grab the artifact from there. I'll go into the matrix by dying on top of the fire. So the alarms can't wake me up. I will then get on my raft go into like a changing area jump off it so i can do the second vault seal thingy and then what i actually want to do as well is once i've done that i want to interact with the vault before i go and do the first one too because i think it might show me something else because what i did was i did the first one and i got like a vision for that and then next time I went in, I did the second and then the first and then looked again and I got the first vision again. So I purely want to see if it's just the exact same every time or if I did accidentally like overwrite it and not see the second part. So that's my plan for there. And then I can go across the invisible matrix bridge, do that one. And then because I will hopefully have died on the fire, I'll then be able to go across the bridge without the alarm waking me up because I cannot be woken up anywhere. <laughs> and then do the third one and then beyond there, I don't know. It's unknown. It's terrifying. It's exciting. It's invigorating. It's thrilling. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I think that's my plan. I think it's my plan. Let's see if I actually do it properly or if I forget in five seconds like I usually do. But, uh, let's load up. Here we go. Here we go, I'm ready to load. I'm going. We're in. I'm in. Oh, sneaky moderator whispers. <laughs> not sure if I should be worried or not. <laughs> Right, because if we look at this, this looks pretty filled out. It looks like I've got a lot of information here. It's just right here, this sealed vault. It's just this sealed vault. I just need to open this and figure out what's going on with the sealed vault. Yeah, because there's like green light spilling out from inside. So maybe it's just full of fire and I will, I'll make it explode and destroy the stranger. Uh, <laughs> and... Oh, uh, you recommend disabling sound alerts in Uru once I open the vault. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, I, I will do that. If, if, if I'm getting to, like, a point where I don't want to be distracted by those, that's, that's a very good shout. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I I appreciate that a lot. I would I would probably cry a little bit on the inside if we got to a a very epic moment and then I suddenly had to uh uwu voice. <laughs> OMG spoilers. I didn't know if I can open it. Well, there's there's three seals on it and I know how to open those three seals. So it's already opened a little bit. I think just with the three even if it doesn't fully open. I think I'll at least be able to get inside it. I don't know. We'll see. I love the thought of just like, well, maybe maybe I don't actually have to interact with this vault at all. Maybe that's not part of the plot. I'm so curious, though. I'm... Because, huh. 
yeah, there, we got the... I rotated the mechanism, causing it to strain against the chains, and the green light spilled out. So, oh, maybe that's just, like, that. I think that might just be... It might just open that much anyway, but because all the there's still at least one chain on, I can't fully open it. But I, I know how to open all three of those. I know, I know. in theory, I, I would be very, very surprised at this point if I went across that bridge and there was not a way to open <laughs> the third symbol from there. But I'm very excited. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, and Kale, hello! You're here! What did you miss? You missed, um... Nothing at all. I have not flown yet. Uh, you missed me theorizing on what I'm going to do to get to where I need to get to. And nothing else. Don't worry, you haven't missed any any of the, the, the cool action yet. And Frosty Friars, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping in. Hope you enjoy your time here. Yeah, first try, no deaths for sure. I'm not going to drown. I'm not going to... Wait, no, my, my plan is to die. I just realized, you, you said first try, no deaths. My, my plan is to die. <laughs> um, failed at the first hurdle. <laughs> uh, uh, first try, one death. <laughs> That's what I'm aiming for. But yeah, my, my plan of action is I'm going to enter at the gorge. I'm going to die on the fire with the artifact. I'm going to glitch onto the water, walk across the water, do the second chain seal thing. Go in the matrix, do the first chain seal thing. Uh, be dead so the alarms don't wake me up, do the third one. And um, question marks, profit. <laughs> this is the plan. My plan, we'll see if anything goes to plan or not. I'm hoping it will. It doesn't help that it's upside down here for this landing. It's gonna be a little... A little bumpy, maybe. Oh no, no, it's the right way up. <laughs> Why did I think it was upside down? Well, we're off to a, a grand start there. But I am... I'm very excited now. I'm... I'm so excited. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, here we go. Rough journey. Adventuring, and I don't have to stop in the... the ghost matter hut, because we're going to the gorge, and I know there's an artifact there. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I always turn so much while I'm sailing on the raft. <laughs> oh, this is... I'm I I am so nervous. I'm I'm really genuinely super nervous, and I don't know why. At least it's not the same nervous as last time, where I was just like kind of terrified. This is like an excited nervous, but also I. I don't know what's in this vault. I have a theory, but it's a very loose theory without much supporting evidence, so I'm probably wrong. But uh, the fact that there's like light and the, the same glow in there makes me wonder, like, because there was like an empty gap? In one of these areas, in one of these spots, there was a person who was, like, not where they should be. And there was... And there is a, um... A fire... In the, um... The actual vault thing in this world itself. I'm wondering if they, they stuck a person in there. I don't know why they would, though, so it's... it's <laughs> It's just like, if, if there is someone trapped in there, that is horrific. They've literally, like, trapped them in there for eternity, so I kind of hope that's not true. Otherwise, I'm wondering if it could be, like, the... 
if there's like a, a machine or something that's like powering the whole simulation. Because with like the green glow, it's like when I when I like opened it up a little bit, there was a lot of green coming in from there. I'm like, if that's if it's like what's powering the simulation or something, then maybe that's like the, the core of the, the whole world that they're living in. Which has horrific implications if I open it and then break it. So I'm very excited. I, 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 don't, I don't know what to expect. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Here we go, the first part of my plan. Am I ready? Am I ready? I think I'm ready. Nope, 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 no! I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to just sleep. I was trying to roast a marshmallow and I pressed the wrong button. Uh, hold on, I need to wake up again quickly. Uh, <laughs> give me a sec. Didn't mean to do that. We're off to a grand start. There we go. <gasps> And now, what I want to do is, I want to roast a marshmallow. Thank you. And this is what I want to do. It works. It works. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Yes, it works. Okay, I need to be very careful to not... To not get my light blown out now, because then I would actually die, die. So no pressure or anything. Oh, it, I'm, I'm so ready. I know what I gotta do. I'm so ready. Oh, but oh, you <laughs> love watching people play this game and it's DLC. Have fun. I will do. Thank you. I've been having so much fun. I'm, I'm really excited to finish it myself too because I. I already know I am also going to be the kind of person who just wants to watch other people play it. Like I'm, I I love it so much. I'm I can I can see why people love watching other people play as well because it's it's like it's the kind of thing you can only experience once, but then you can you can like live vicariously through other people as well and experience their joy, like their discoveries. So it's it's a lot of fun. Oh. Alright. This is the part I'm most scared about. <laughs> Here we go. Oh the moment when you realized you needed to do this was so chilling. I know, it's like the sudden realization of like I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to die. I I have to die. Like even though this whole game, we've been dying so many times. This whole game is about dying, but somehow it it feels a little more intense in a situation like this. It's so good. Okay. Need to wait for the right moment here. Make sure I can't see anything. Okay. Okay, which way is it? It's this way. Pretty sure it's this way. I see the vault. It's very dark. Yes, I see it. Hee 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 hee. All right, I'm here. <sighs> So nervous. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. I need some. There's candles around here, right? There's there's candles here, right? It's so dark. Light it up a bit. I'm. I don't. I don't like how dark it is. Please be light. Thank you. I said let there be light, and there was. Right. So now that I've done this, I want to. Yeah, I think I just need to wait to rotate this until I've put them all out. So, 
right time for the the true test of did i glitch the system out properly i can't even hear it <gasps> because i'm dead i i can't hear it i'm also not going to feel the damn I, i'm not going to feel like the moment of everything moving away i don't think either i'm not going to feel the dam break i am dead i'm not going to feel any of that anymore oh my goodness okay let's put out the second one. Oh, i'm oh my goodness <laughs> oh that's so interesting because i kind of presumed that the siren noises would be here as well but no that that that's part of the the whole like hammer bell mechanism in real life to wake everyone up which makes a lot of sense in hindsight i just didn't even think about it oh that's so cool this is so cool and now the third one was in the matrix so i'm gonna just uh pop this over here i've got a nice safe straight line i can walk in and now i can Get this bridge where it needs to be. Yeah. And now I go back with my artifact. Yeah, I, I, re I, I also like. I also really agree that I think they did a really good job of making it so you can't, you can't like fully cheese it. Like, I, I got lucky with the, um, the uh, thingy, the the matrix figuring that out really quickly and i possibly think i could have figured out the raft one by accident if i jumped into the void but i don't think i would have guessed to um literally kill myself <laughs> i don't think i would have considered that a thought until i saw that thing so that's exciting but uh, yes i'm gonna i'm gonna turn off my sound alerts now uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep the sounds for like following and raids and stuff. I'm just not, I'm just gonna remove like the, <laughs> like the, the doots and things. And the uwu robot voices. Eight. Yes, that's the last eight. Uh, enjoy it. <laughs> oh, I wish there was an easier way to do this. Because I have to do it all manually. <laughs> I have to turn off each one manually. I love that I'm just like tab to the side, turning them all off. Just oh. the the final few before I switch them off. <laughs> oh. I'm also going to temporarily turn off text to speech as well, and I'll keep the dictionary narrations and stuff because I can just do those later if people don't mind having to wait. But uh, if if you redeem that, you're gonna have to wait. Sorry. <laughs> I think I got them all. I think I got them all. Please let me know if I I missed any. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's so interesting thinking because like when the dam bursts and when when it starts moving and stuff, we managed to feel that because our body was still alive, and so we were actually feeling it. Like it wasn't in this world, but we we were still feeling it. But I'm not going to feel any of that anymore. And I'm dead. I'm, I am unalive. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so interesting. Oh, thank you for the hydrate too. A hydrate to continue. And a fata pillow. Thank you. It's go leavey. That's me. Oh, my hands are shaking again. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. It, it is... It's so, it's so unnerving, like, knowing I'm not alive. All right, here we go. Right, just a straight line. This is also really nerve-wracking as well. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna break the third, we're gonna break the third one. <sighs> <laughs> I don't know what's in here, but we're going to find out. 
But yeah, I love how I was like, I've been theorizing about what's in there, but I've only got two theories. I, I didn't theorize too much. I had two ideas. And knowing me, it's going to be a completely different third thing I didn't think of. But uh, I, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready, maybe. Uh. Open. Open. Oh, it's really dark. Oh, oh, oh. I just have to go in, I guess. Wait, where am I? Like a hallway? It's so that I. Oh, there's something here. There's a chamber. Ooh. Oh, this is like the the thing I saw before. What do I do with this? There's a chair. Oh, candles. And, and wait. This, this feels so. Ominous. This is so much bigger than I expected. Okay, this I feel like this is going to close behind me. I'm I'm I d I don't want to go in here. I feel like it's the door's gonna shut on me. Yeah, I gotta uh Okay. Oh! Oh, it's a lift! Oh. Oh, where am I going? Did it stop? I think it stopped. Oh no, this door opened again. Okay. Oh my oh god. Oh my um I think I need to get past there somehow. I was gonna say, like, if I leave my artifact behind, but no, I I have to take it out of the thing to make the door open. Oh god. They're not coming to the town. H I A. I forgot there was text to speech on the resub. Oh my goodness, why did that go on so long? That wasn't even that many eyes. <laughs> Sparrow, thank you so much for the resub for 38 months. Welcome. Go meet friend. Welcome. Oh, thank you for the resub for 34 months, Lumsev. Oh my goodness, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the resubs. And also, Bob, thank you for the lurk too. Welcome. Oh my goodness, I'm... I'm, I'm like, they're, they're not like running to attack me and blow out my artifact like the others so maybe friend maybe friend friend who was imprisoned here friend who I uh, free you won't you won't yeah they definitely won't kill me you won't kill me right you, you won't kill me right 
I mean, it would be very easy for them to just walk over here and blow out my artifact. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm <laughs> that whole that whole well area has just fully traumatized me now. But oh, thank you for the lurk as well, Sparrow. Oh, just vibing and saying hello, going back and forth between Final Fantasy fourteen and cleaning. Oh, I hope the cleaning goes well and the Final Fantasy, but thank you for stopping in. I can do it. I mean, I got to this point really in a very straightforward way. I know how to get here. If I die, I die. Hello? Hello? Hi? Friend? Friend? Wait, one of your antlers is- Oh, Friend? Hello? We're not gonna speak the same language, but I'm still gonna speak to you. Who are you? you want me to do? I'm so sorry. Friend. Friend. Oh, you wanted me to move out of the way, probably. Okay. That makes sense. <gasps> Ooh! That's a really nice staff. <gasps> oh my goodness, we're gonna communicate using our thoughts. We are going to communicate using brainwaves. We're going- we're gonna- we, we, we're communicating without words. We can project. We can project. <gasps> Show me. Show me, friend. Friend? Friend is awake. Friend? Friend removed barrier that was blocking off the eye of the universe. What? Why did... Why? Vision torch. Uh, I I will I will communicate with you now. Oh, the music! I'm. Look, it's me. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you everything I've learned. Let me tell you what's happened. Oh my goodness. Oh. In that moment where the where the signal was unblocked again, that's when the Namai picked up on the signal. That's why they ended up coming to this solar system, setting up base, trying to find the signal again. But of course, it would have been already reblocked by that time. So they were just searching, 
the whole time they were here. And then the ghost matter did its thing. And then I stepped in. Oh my goodness. Oh. Not gonna lie, this version of the song is kind of making me tear up a little bit. I'm, I, I can feel tears in my eyes. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Look at me. So young, so bright-eyed. So determined to explore, so... So determined to discover. This is devastating. This is. Oh. Oh. And now the music here is bringing in that. Uh, dun, the dun dun dun. <laughs> oh my, no, the... <laughs> just, just a chair, a chair and a table, a board game, but nobody to play it with, uh, a bed. <laughs> The vision staff, couple instruments, that's all they had. It's all they had. They've just been trapped here this whole time with all of that. And then an alien comes into the chamber and tells them that they're all dead. Everyone is dead. I'm just... Oh. Oh no, wait, that's, that's the... I'm 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 uh, I'm crying. I'm I'm actually crying now. I'm <laughs> I don't even know if there's a point in going back up. I'm Wow, I I like how, I like how my theory was kind of right, whilst also not being right. Like, I'm, I didn't expect that. I, wow. I, uh, wow. Like, I thought that, like, what, I, I was thinking maybe a person in there. I did not, uh, <laughs> God, that's so painful too, because that just adds up so many tiny loose ends along the way like it shows how yeah i love how the quantum moon just appeared there for a bit it's gone now i looked away but it was just like hi quantum moon fancy seeing you here but oh my goodness because that that explains how the namai got the signal in the first place 
it explains why they couldn't find the signal again because it had stopped being broadcast. Oh my, I am, oh. Oh, let me, uh. <laughs> oh, I. <laughs> I I'm Wow. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna go look at my ship log. I need to I need to look at my ship log. Huh. I met one of the strangest inhabitants who was imprisoned within the vault. The prisoner showed me a vision revealing the actions they took that resulted in their eternal confinement. I used the vision torch to share my knowledge of the solar system's history with the prisoner. Oh. Oh. oh, I don't know what to do now. Do I do that again? I think I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna go back in again. I'm not gonna waste as much time. I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna see, like, there's not really much I'll be able to do anyway because I'm literally dying to get there anyway. But I, I want, I'm gonna at least give it a try. Oh wow, uh, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> thank you, and far too clueless as well. Hello, <laughs> welcome. Thank you for the hydrate. I need to replenish all the tears I'm losing. I've, I'm, I'm genuinely like I've, I've got tears streaming down my face at the moment. I <laughs> like, I, I think as well. Like, you know what really got me? After I did the vision torch, when they just kind of looked up to the, the sky and just screamed. Like that scream, that was such a cry of anguish. That was. <laughs> so emotionally devastating. I'm that I wow. 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 Okay. Oh, I <laughs> Wow. Oh. Uh, yeah, that song really is such a masterpiece. Just the way as well that it kind of started to intermingle like the the Timber Hearth, like the Hearthian theme with the Stranger, the Alk theme as well. Oh, like the, when, it, when it started playing like minor key, I, I, I knew I was in for a time. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it is so intense, yes. And like, especially, I'm, a little part of me is glad that I did the super frightening thing right before going in there because like, the moment of seeing enemy question mark right in front of me, like the instinctive reactions just to leave. But like, because I died to get there, there's nowhere I can leave too. I, it kind of like made me go forwards. <laughs> yeah. And you, you know how much has affected me. I did not comment on my perfect landing. That was a pretty good landing. That was a pretty decent landing. I'm quite proud of that. Yeah, can you even imagine, like... Unblocking the signal, getting just, like, trapped in that one room alone for basically eternity. And then an alien traveler comes along and just goes, Hey, you know that thing you did? Uh, it killed out loads of people. Also, um, everyone's dead. You're welcome. Like, it's... There's, d there's no way you can, like, sugarcoat that. Especially just seeing... Like, I guess, like, kind of sharing... Sharing memories. Sharing the memories there is... Like, I've... In, in my memories, I'm probably sharing them like slight in a slightly detached manner, because this is all this is all stuff that happened years and years and years ago for me. Like this doesn't affect me personally, but when it is uh, your people, I, I need my artifact. I need an artifact before I 
uh, jump on a fire. Uh, whew, that was close. But when it's like you're seeing like your whole... Like ev everybody here just... As skeletons? It is... It's like it, it adds a, a, a bit of extra like reality to the situation. Yeah, exactly. It's it's like all your people are dead, a bunch of people died, the universe is ending. Nothing to worry about. Uh good times. Good times all around. But yeah, th this is all they have left. Like they they fully just strip mined everything to create this to track down the signal of the eye of the universe. And when they realized that was a bust, uh they Good night. When they realized that was a bust, that was when they all, like, strapped themselves in here. And I think their plan probably was to to die here and live in the simulation forever. But it's very different, like, having that as the plan and then having, like, the active vision of it being real. Like, it's the kind... Like, it, I can imagine it being the kind of thing that doesn't really sink in fully because it, it's such a... An abstract concept, really. <laughs> I'm... I'm I'm so, like, scattered with everything I'm saying at the moment. I'm just... <laughs> oh, that, that... That... That hit hard. That was... Oh, this is... Whew. This is a lot. <laughs> Yeah, exactly as well. They even programmed the stranger to move away from the supernova. I'm pretty sure they intended to live for eternity in their projection world. They they were fully planning on just, like, dying out and existing there forever. I'm pretty sure. But it's like, even with that, it's the... It's the It's like I'm the kind of thing where like you can't really fully fathom it until it's like made real. Like I know I've, I've I can't think of like a good example, but there's so many situations where it's like you can't really believe a thing until you're like given active proof and it then becomes real. And it's like even though you knew about it before, it's that moment where it kind of sinks in and hits the hardest. Like that kind of thing. I'm I'm very. <laughs> Very scattered wording things at the moment. That's a load. Whoop. And down we go. Yeah, exactly. It's not real until the funeral. Yeah, that's... I, th I think in my mind that's the kind of example I was thinking of, but I... I don't, I don't want to, like, go too too heavily into like like those kind of topics because I'm already emotionally devastated enough. <laughs> I mean, what? Huh. Oh, I, I, I didn't expect this though. It's like there are still some questions that aren't fully answered. Like the first question is like why did the prisoner unblock the signal in the first place? I don't know, like, a, a solid reason behind that. I may have missed something along the way. I do want to go back and look through all the logs afterwards, too, to, to try and piece everything together properly. Let's head over here. I can't hear you. No alarm here. I'm not waking up. I've got to say, it does make me wonder a little bit why they 
why everything is so dark, but I feel like with them having like the owl features and the owl eyes, it's probably, they can probably see in the dark. There we go. Ooh. I think nothing unnerves you more than the fact that these people could have set this person free all this time and didn't. Yeah, I, the, the thought of being trapped there for an eternity is horrific. And they, they know as well, like, they're the ones who made the reels about these glitches. They would be able to free the prisoner at any time. They know... Like, they're already dead on the outside. They can probably guess that by now. They know the ways around to free them, and they've still just decided, no, they stay in here forever. Like, it's, it's horrible. It's so horrible. Right, and down we go. This time I'm going to try my best to follow them out, but I feel like there's probably not going to be enough time but we'll see lighting all the candles at least oh no not that one there we go Boop. all right <laughs> They also probably know the actual codes, that's true as well. Like, they're the ones who burnt the, the, like, the knowledge of those codes. So they did that actively. They did that with the intention of nobody ever finding those codes and letting this person out. And that feels wild. That is so much. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's me. Hello. Oh, did you give me a little head pat? That's quite sweet. Hi, uh, where are we? Hi. Okay. You lit the light, thank you. Keeping it concealed, I see. <laughs> thank you for the head pat. <laughs> it's so interesting seeing that motion from a, a non-scary point of view. Hello. Okay, let's see again. Let me cry again. That's fine. Ha. I want to know more about this prisoner because they, they already have lost their antler at this point. So I wonder what happened. And I wonder why they'd want to unblock the signal in the first place. Why do that? Unless they're like... The one thing I can think of is like, maybe they did it with the intention of hoping that it would draw someone else in to rescue them. Like everyone else was happy just living in the Matrix, but this person was like, actually, no, <laughs> maybe. Oh, it's so interesting. Oh, but then I bet as well, like, the way... Uh, the the Harthians would have then got the, the Eye of the Universe signal. Sorry, I, I need to say this before I forget about it. I'm just realizing now. The, the moment that the stranger moves away from the sun, like, detecting the sun's gonna so go supernova, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be, like, the moment when the Eye of the Universe becomes active again. Which would explain why everyone is then just like, we've just gotten this amazing new signal that we'd never seen before, what's going on? Because it was it was still cloaked again until then, but then the stranger started moving away. So it wouldn't have been able to be blocking it anymore. Like, it's there's so many little points all connected. It's Oh, I love this. Okay, okay. Hi, I'm going to emotionally devastate you. Hi. I'm sorry. Oh, I need to keep projecting, sorry. There we go. Oh, this is the music though. 
There I am. Everyone you know has decomposed. The world you created has decomposed. There we are in this big old universe. But Namai caught those few waves, that tiny, tiny moment when it was uncovered. It's all it took, they got it. They headed over there. And we know how well that went with Dark Bramble and the vessel and... But then they sent out the, the escape pods. Some of them set up on Brittle Hollow, some of them set up on one of the twins. Ember Twin. Ember Twin? I think it was Emma. And then the interloper came along and goodbye. But we survived because we were just tiny little tadpoles at that time. But then I went off on my first expedition and I found so much. Learning so much about the Namai, years of study, ever since I was a little hatchling. I think I'm still kind of a hatchling. I'm, I don't think I'm... If, if it's my first voyage, I'm probably not super old. <laughs> so excited, so ready for adventure. Ah, off to discover all the untold stories. sad. Okay. There you go. What, what if I give you my artifact? No. Can I, can I give you my artifact instead? No, artifact does not fit. Okay. Just a slight experimentation. Okay. Oh, the little bow as well. Oh. Here, here in the dun 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 do 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 Ah, uh, of course, this only shows things you, the player, have discovered. So if you did it early on in the game, it would be much shorter. That's really cool. That's a really cool addition to it. That's that's so good to know. I'm glad I I, I like basically did everything before doing this. Then I'm I'm just sharing everything. But uh, TJ, I'm hello. Welcome, welcome. And Azurin as well, welcome in. All right, I'm, I'm following. I'm going up too. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to catch up or not, but I can try. And there's not much I can do as well. I, I am dead. There's more, there's more, there's more. <gasps> there's more. There's more. <gasps> oh, here we go. Oh, I'm glad I came back. I'm glad I came back. <gasps> oh. There's not much I can do here. I'm... I'm very dead. I'm very dead in the outside world. Ugh. Can I pick it up? 
can't pick it up, okay. Uh, look at the... <laughs> you can see the footprints. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm I'm like laughing as I'm crying. I'm just oh wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I may need a second, sorry. <laughs> After all that time in imprisonment, they're <laughs> finally free. In, like, as, as much as that is freedom, it's, oh. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. Oh Peachy, hello. Thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. Yeah, I need to replenish these tears. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Uh, I always have this thing where like when something like really touches me emotionally and I start crying, I start laughing at the same time. And it, it always feels so bad because I, I feel like people, it's, it's the kind of thing where I'm like, I don't want to be laughing in this situation because I am, I'm feeling so many things, but like the, the laughing just kind of like instinctively happens. I wonder if it's like my body's defense mechanism, like trying to, <laughs> trying to balance out the emotions a bit. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for the hydrate. Drink the tears. Okay. Uh. all the music I love when this Timberhearth music kicks in right right when I need it right when I need it it's it's like the game knows and the game is just like it's okay you're home you're home calm down it's okay oh wow oh wow wow oh thank you for the follow as well as thank you for Thank you so much. I'm so glad you managed to join me for the, <laughs> this moment. After, what, 15? I think this is my 15th Outer Wild stream. Oh my goodness. <gasps> yeah, oh yes. Yeah, let me let me turn the sound alerts back on. Give me a sec. Uh, the, the music stops when I tab out the game, so let's, uh, hee hee. Let's have that on for a second while I turn all the sound alerts back on, please. It's time to jump scare me so I can't be emotionally distraught anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness, I... wow. There we go! Sorry, I have to manually go through and do each one. Jim. Ha. Ha. <laughs> Put him back on. <laughs> ah, oh my goodness, wow. There we go, I think I've put everything back on. If I've missed something, then oops a daisy. Oh no, I forgot. I forgot to turn the elevator music back off. There we go, okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm s okay, now I'm ready. Oh wow, I. My cheeks are still wet. My, my cheeks are still wet. I cried so much. <laughs> Oh, this game is, this game is just like impeccably well made for like creating an emotional response. Like I'm, oh, I'm, oh, wow. 
Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now I feel bad for thinking about all of the terrible ideas I had. For breaking time and stuff. Oh. The prisoner left one final vision for me by the water's edge as a farewell. Uh, uh, wow. Wow. Ah, uh, I think... I think I'm gonna spend a little bit of time. A little bit of time in Timberheart. I think I need... I need a moment to just... To just breathe in the fresh air. I, I say as I'm right next to a campfire. To, to breathe in the fresh air. To look at the trees. Look at the sky. Be with friends. Ah. Uh, wow. What, a, what an incredible game. <laughs> We're just exploring and solving. Why am I crying about it? It's it's so much more than that, though. This, the whole experience of this game is so good. I'm... I'm honestly a little ashamed of myself that it took me so long to play it because this oh I'm <laughs> also gambler hello howdy yeah welcome welcome in i i just um completed quote unquote the dlc i don't know if that'll affect the ending or not a, a little part of me wonders if it will affect the ending because I'm thinking, because when I went to the Quantum Moon, when I saw Solanum, I ended up seeing her in the ending. So now that I've had that moment with the prisoner, a little bit of me wonders if the prisoner will be in the ending. So that's something I do want to think about. I do want to uh, try and, like, finish, quote unquote, the game again and see if that's different. But also, like, I feel really bad now because my thought going into the stream was like, well, if I do the DLC quickly, I don't know how much is left. But if I have time, then maybe I can try silly things like um, taking the advanced warp core onto the stranger with me. So I just live there forever. But I, it sounds like a terrible idea because I think it is. But uh, th the thing is, like, when the sun goes supernova, like, I'm not in the blast radius of that when I'm on the stranger. So a little part of me is like, if I remove the warp core so the, the whole Namai mask uh, upload download thing isn't happening, will I just stay there? Will I just live there forever? And I think I might, so I want to try that. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, Lirial wait, wonder... one Fi Lirial, one Wild Lirial, one Love Lirial, one Patrick Swayze. Lyra, thank you so much for the 41 month sub at tier three. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, I want to try that. And now that I'm saying that out loud, I'm also like, what would happen if I get the warp core, bring it along to the stranger with me to like disable the system again and then die on the fire and live in the in the matrix forever very curious <laughs> i have a, terrible ideas and it would be very interesting to see what would happen so yeah I'm, it just feels like it feels really bad to go straight off like that incredible touching phenomenal moment to then just go like right time to die a bunch or or live forever maybe although I, it's like if if everything is going supernova then all i've really done is buy myself like a tiny bit of time but uh i will still be alive when this whole star system has exploded which i think could be interesting <laughs> i'm terrible i'm such a terrible person <laughs> right uh Da, 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 da. Have, I, have I said all of these? I, I know I said the death trap one. 
Uh, you're lucky I'm in a time loop, because otherwise I'd be super dead. And you're lucky I don't have you grounded for medical reasons, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, the autopilot flew my ship directly into the sun. Had an exciting dream, did you? <laughs> it's not exactly impossible for the autopilot to get you too close to the sun, but it's not like it'll try to take you there on purpose. No, I... Make sure the sun isn't between you and your destination when you engage autopilot and you'll be fine. Uh, I keep getting killed by ghost matter. Not if you use your scout to detect it, you won't, you dumb idiot. Did you think I made that just so you could take pretty little pictures of trees? It has multiple uses. You do know you can use it as a light source, right? Stars above, please tell me you knew that. Don't worry, I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. I've Yeah, I'm realizing now I've not talked to Slate in a while. <laughs> I talked to them after the first couple of loops, being like, well, I've, I've, I'm in a time loop and the ship's a death trap, but I, I've, I don't think I've said any of these. Oh, the sun is going to go supernova, by the way. Oh yeah, the observatory has, has an exhibit about that. Oh, e exhibition exhibit. Uh, between you and me, I glossed over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more Hornfels' domain. Me, I'm here for the rocket science and the marshmallows. Oh, me too. Well, I'm here for all of it, to be honest. Right, let's, let's go talk to people. I'm gonna go talk to people. Hello. Hey, it's you. Yeah. Uh... Aren't you gonna go into space, aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Oh, I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Yeah, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Wanna give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Oh yeah, I already did this. I know how bad I am at piloting that thing. That's fine. Hmm. Uh, also, Scout as a light source would have been very helpful in the caves at the northern lake bed. Okay, but in my defense... Scary. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm very, I'm very good at forgetting things I already know. In high stakes situations where I really need to remember them. Da -da -da. Yeah, I've, I've, I've spoken to you. You don't have anything new to say. Ooh. There you go. Hello, Rutile. Bum bum bum. Yeah, I, I, I did all the dialogue with you. Over here, Mall chopping trees. Bum bum bum. Yep. Oh, I wonder if Nice will have any different dialogue if I've, if I've seen, because I've I've seen everyone with the instruments. Ba ba ba. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? I I have. They they are. They're still playing them. Bum bum bum. Yep. Yep. I've heard out. I've heard all the music in space. These were the two with the the scout, uh, the the signal tracker even. You are fishing. You are, oh, what if, what if I go back in the the zero G cave? Mentioned some of the other things along the way. Uh, got up that crazy sandfall pretty quick, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite proud of that. I feel like a lot of my moments in this are either I miss something really obvious, or I have, like, a big brain genius moment. And honestly, I'm okay with that. Hello, Gossan. Hey, thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves get the better of you? Are you kidding? I'm a natural at this. It's like I've been flying for... 200 loops like <laughs> is that so funny i seem to recall the first time you strapped on a jetpack we had to come fish you out of the crater near the south pole <laughs> it's 
So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the Zero-G cave and in need of repairs. Uh, if you're looking for a little last-minute Zero-G practice, yeah, let's, let's, let's see if I can do any better now that I've... now that I've had all this practice along the way. See how much my Zero-G movement has improved, or not improved. Because I haven't been down here since the very, very first stream. Kind of curious if there's anything interesting around. A lantern. Oop. I can't put this on. Okay. Whoop. I guess I don't need it. I'm still in a breathable atmosphere. Oh, hello! Hi, Tuff! Hey, hey! Nice of you to drop down. Uh, I'm getting some zero-G time in. So you're going in there, in the cave? <laughs> what? No, I'm fine. Great, great and fine. You don't look fine. Well, you know I hate that cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. <laughs> now I've got hand sweats. Uh, honestly? Understandable. Very understandable. Uh, give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt? Not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Come to think of it, Tektite saw something crash outside of the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Uh, no, I meant literal dirt. I wanted a handful of mud, please. <laughs> oh, hey, how about that? Yeah, they were on Firewatch with the old scout launcher and saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I said that to Tektide once. Pretty, pretty rude how long they laughed for, if you ask me. Alright, anything on fire? Probably only a little. Uh, guess where I'm going today. Oh no, 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 no way. You want to run off into space, that's your business, but don't make me, you know, think about it. Bad enough we got this weird cave down here. <laughs> to be fair, this cave is really interesting. Do I go down here? Hmm. Yeah, I keep going down. I want to go down a little platform at a time. Oh, the, yeah, the, the atmosphere in here is actually awful. <laughs> like, worse than space. In my humble opinion. Wait, is there something up? Oh, there's a little radio. Radio? No, parts for making... Something. Something, a little craft bench, okay. I'm going down then. Right, let's repair this thing. Ba -ba -ba. See how much better I do. I'm so much better at this now. Remember how long this took me when I first did this? It's I've I'm 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 like a, a seasoned veteran by now. <laughs> I know how to do it now. This is great. Look at that! I'm I'm a master. Where's the third broken part? Hey, where even is it? What's broken? Oh, I see red. From here? Oh, I hear the sparking. Is it up? Oh, the very top, I think. Haha. -ha. 
there we go. Look how much better at this I am. Yeah! Easy. Training simulation complete. I'm so smart and cool. Oop, I say as I uh, blast into a wall. As you do. Woohoo! I want to see if I could get all the way up in like one jetpack boost, but I didn't think so. Oh, ow, I'm fine. I'm fine, I meant to do that. But yay, I did it! Yeah, honestly, this is such a good tutorial for moving around, but it's also... Like, actually playing the game, I don't feel like it's that difficult, because the, the, the amount of situations where you are actively out in zero g trying to repair your ship is not like super high it's usually trying to like find a spot to land to repair <laughs> but this it's such a good setup situation hey i did it of course it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big yeah i did it Oh, I wanted just photos. Right, and now with this as well, I can see exactly where the ghost matter is. Whoop. So it's actually safe a little bit inside. It's only like up there, really. Oh, unless there's like little blasts. It hurt more. Do it again. Hmm, that's interesting. Nice. Also, Artem, hello. Welcome, welcome. I, I did the, 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 I did the echoes of the eye, and I cried a lot. And I need, I needed time to relax, so I decided to stay on Timber Hearth for a little bit. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. Oh, a primal Zed as well. I don't remember if I actually said hi to you. I think it might have been amidst other things. But hi. Uh, you got sweaty thinking about having to do repairs in space. Yeah, me t and then once you got into space, there weren't many repairs. Yeah, I feel like all the repairs, like the, the moments for repairs, I've mostly just been like, well, I can still kind of fly it. I'll wait till I land and fix it then. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I love this game. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I wonder if I could bring the warp core back here. I wonder if I can bring the advanced warp core back to the museum. That's also a really bad idea. I think I mentioned trying that before. I was thinking either like the warp core or one of the 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 the, the portal black hole white hole things in the high energy lab. Yeah, most of my ideas at the moment are just doing really silly things with the warp core. <laughs> <laughs> Got to admit, I'm, I'm very much in a situation of let's, let's find out what happens if I do really bad things. I'll just be like, hey, the sun's about to go supernova and explode, but don't worry, I'm stuck in a time loop, so I'll come back. Uh, the only thing that's bringing me back is this thing. Hold on. Oops. <laughs> Ah. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Hmm. Right, now that I now that I've done a laugh, I think I'm I think I've calmed down enough. <laughs> so I think I don't know what time it is. I don't know how much time has passed. I did spend quite a lot of time just sitting around doing nothing. But I think what I'm going to do, I think my plan is going to be... Uh, I'm not going to try and land on the sun station. Because that's going to be difficult and I, I... I do not feel mentally prepared to do that. But... 
Oh, look, it's getting really spicy. But I want to go to the... Uh, which one is it? Ash Twin, Ember Twin. The, the one twin where I can use the warp thing to get to the sun station. I want to pull the warp core out. And then I want to do silly things with it. Uh, did I do the ending? I, I ended Echoes of the Eye. I got it so that Echoes of the Eye came up on the screen. I haven't done, like, the ending of the game again to see if that's different, because I have a feeling it will be. But I do want to do that, just not yet. I still need to emotionally recover, and I think going through the anglerfish is not going to help with that. <laughs> but... but... Yeah, I just want to try silly things with the warp core at the moment. Uh, is it time to talk about game mechanics in a spoilery way or not yet? Uh, I... <laughs> I don't know how to answer that, really. Like, if it's a mechanic that I don't know about... I don't know. No, I think at, at this point in the game, it's if it's something that you don't think I'm going to figure out on my own, then I don't mind. I, I trust you to to know, like, what I'd be annoyed by. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, look at this, though. Look at all this stuff I found out. Whew. But yeah, I think my plan is going to be more warp core stuff. So I'm going to meditate. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to meditate so it saves my game at the start of the loop and I'm going to back up my save file just in case. Just in case. Because I, I would hate to, like, glitch somehow and lose all my progress. <laughs> like I almost did once. On, on, like, the time when my computer kept shutting down, it, I almost lost my save file then, but because I always back it up, I still had it. <laughs> Right, so I'm, I'm going to very quickly uh, back that up. I don't think I'll need to, because it's like, even when it's game overs, it just goes uh, resume from last... a lifetime. <laughs> but I do want to... Where do I back it up? Wampst. You are... Da -da -da -da. Local low. Ba, 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 ba. Hmm. Please forgive the <laughs> the intermission as I. all my saves into new folder 3 okay they are all saved and safe <laughs> just in case oh you'll go check out the the moment later oh i I I was in I was in tears. I was crying so much. <laughs> medicate till the next thing. <laughs> Wait, yeah, hold on. Let me let me get my monster. I'm gonna I'm gonna medicate with caffeine. <laughs> but I would I was crying a lot. I was crying a lot. It was very emotional. Right. Who's who's ready to Stop being emotional and watch me perish. I'm I'm ready. <laughs> ready for sillies. Uh, oh the the fire oh yes the fire. I I um I, I tried to roast a marshmallow, accidentally fell asleep, had to 
yeet myself out so that I could enter the dream world appropriately. It went very well. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, I'm out. It's one of them. Righto, off to the twins. I'm gonna wait for the sun station. Oh, I probably should have napped before I head off, but I am silly. It's okay. I wish there was a way to nap inside my ship. Wait, is there someone on Ash Twin? Oh. Thanks for getting in the way, Ember Twin. I appreciate it. I don't remember if there's anyone actually here or not. I don't think there is. I think there's like the two towers poking out. I don't think there's anyone actually like here. I also don't know the best place to park. I don't remember anything. Oh, I'm gonna park on top of here actually, why not? Maybe. Can I park on top of here? Park. Yeah, look at that! I actually used landing mode, which I, I, I never do. Yeah. Oh, you went to a tea party hosted by a friend recently and couldn't sleep until 4am. <laughs> well, because of the tea? Because of the tea? Did the tea keep you awake? Oh, it's always that one annoying twin that stands in the way, right? It's like, I've, I want to reach one and the other one just swings around like, hello. Just make a campfire in the ship. That is a great idea. I don't see how that could possibly go wrong in any any way nothing flammable in here i <laughs> i don't think i could go wrong at all <sighs> at least i got marshmallows in here oh i love as well how i even bring a stick with me like in case i can't find a stick to put my marshmallow on very important to always have one all right i'm gonna wait for the sun to build up a little bit maybe yeah I really should have had a nap before I came out here but it's okay it's all right we chillin oh hey it's the interloper ah <sighs> could all these all these planets I've grown to, to know and not love. <laughs> uh, maybe I should go and wait on Ember Twin. <laughs> I know there's a Chert. Is it Chert? I think it's Chert. I know Chert's over on Ember Twin. I'd be able to sleep at their campsite. No, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm patient. Oh, you never have caffeine otherwise. Oh, I see. Yeah, I feel like some people are definitely more... More, like, affected by caffeine than other people. Like, uh, like I can have caffeine and it doesn't really affect me too much. But Xander can... Xander can get, like, caffeine buzzed off a cup of tea. <laughs> if he has too much tea, he's wide awake. It's so interesting how we're related, but it's so so different somehow. Oh my goodness! Nui Raid! Hi Nui, welcome! Welcome on in, how's it going? Thank you for the raid! Lyriel One Wilds, Lyriel One Wilds, Lyriel One Wilds. Oh my goodness, thank you for the 30 month sub as well! Oh my goodness. Welcome in, how's it going? How's it going? How did your stream go? I hope you had fun. I saw you were playing a uh, who is the Red Queen? And I, I remember playing that. I love that game. That's such a good game. I hope you enjoyed it. 
that are welcoming raiders. Welcome to anyone who's new here. Hello, I'm Liri. I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And um, I just finished the DLC of Outer Wilds and it made me cry in an emotional way. Um, I had to take a moment to emotionally recover and now I'm trying very silly things to die. Like, <laughs> my current strategy in the game is I'm planning on perishing. <laughs> but uh, welcome in. Welcome in everybody. Oh, and Viralaz, hello. I have played Patrick's Power Box. I played it when it came out. I got a key for it as it came out. I, I played it a while ago, but I love that game. But welcome in everybody. <laughs> It was very good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's, I really love the characters in that game so much. It's so intense in a great way. But yeah, I'm just kind of waiting at the moment. So this is a, a nice time for a raid. <laughs> thank you for raiding. Oh, and Akira, thank you for the dictionary narration as well. Here we go. We got the letter A. Let's see what we get. Oh. Oh, thank you for the dictionary narration, Redeem. The word we have is ancestral. <laughs> ancestral, an adjective relating to or inherited from an ancestor or ancestors. For example, her ancestral home. Let's also read ancestor because it doesn't make much sense without knowing that. But ancestor, noun, one, a person from whom you are descended or two, something from which a later species or version has developed. Apparently there's also ancestress as a noun. So that's interesting. But thank you for the dictionary narration, Redeem. Oh, as the Outer Wilds cult, you appreciate my tears. I've, I've got so many of them. I have so many tears. They have all developed. Oh, thank you for the hydrate too. Wait, did the... Where's the monster can? Where, what? Hold on. I didn't see the monster thrown at me. Did something break? Hold on a sec, let me test something. Unless I just missed it. No, things are still being thrown at me. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, we're good. Uh, maybe it just missed me. Oh, thank you for throwing things at me. But thank you for the hydrate. I will have a sip. I need so many sips. I need to, like, replenish all of the tears I lost. <laughs> I cried so much. It's so good, though. But, uh, yes, welcome to the stream, Raiders. And if you have to head off after your stream, too, I, I know it's getting late. Uh, please don't feel like you have to stick around. Please feel free to go get some rest or food or drink. But if you do want to stick around for a bit, my current plan is... Uh, Nua, you, you did do the the ending for Outer Wilds, didn't you? I, I think... I think you did. I think they did. I need to catch up on the, the VOD, but... <laughs> but uh, I'm basically going to take the thing that you need to take. Yes, you did do it. Okay, well, I'm, my plan is to take the warp core and then just do silly things with it. That, that's my current plan. My current plan is to doom myself. <laughs> But yeah, I've, I've I've done the I did the DLC I did the the game stuff. Yes, had a friend hold your hand all oh, to get through the anglerfish. I I'm still kind of dreading doing that again. But yeah, my current plan is I'm just waiting here to go to the sun station. I'm gonna steal the warp core, and then I'm gonna go on a little tour with with the core. <laughs> if it'll let me. We will see. But uh, I'm I'm excited to to make questionable decisions. <laughs> right, the main question here is Oh, I should have brought my ship with me actually, in hindsight. I parked it up there for now. I I, I no, I think I do need to take this with me. Because once I've got the warp core, I, I'm going to need to transport it. Whoop. Come on, I can make it... I can make it... Gross. Okay, I think enough time hopefully has passed. Ah. 
but yeah, I, was, I, I just had like this, the super emotional moment of finishing the DLC. And then I was like, it feels bad now to do what I planned to do, which is just breaking stuff. <laughs> I'm just in breaking stuff mode now. Right, is it? It is here. Yes, I've, I've, I'm, I've, I'm way late. I'm way late in the loop, but that's okay because I'm not like. I'm not like time restrained. I'm simply doing silly things. I'm. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to wait for it to come back around again. I'm ready! I'm ready to do myself. <laughs> but yeah, I think um, the first thing I'm going to try is I think I've left it a little late in the loop to try and catch up with DLC land. So I'm going to take it back to Timber Hearth and show everyone what I found. Maybe put it in the museum. I'll just be like, hey, check, check out this cool thing I found. It's the only thing keeping me alive, and I just pulled it out of the machine that's keeping me alive. Hold on. Hold on a second. Oopsie. <laughs> just little hatching things. Now I'm waiting. Yes. I just need to wait for the sand. <laughs> doom, doom, doom. Yeah, so some of my favorite moments playing this have been the moments where I break stuff. <laughs> like doing the wrong thing on purpose just to see what will happen. Just being like, I think this would be bad. What if I did this thing? Would that be a terrible idea? Yes, it was a terrible idea. And I regret none of it. I'm ready. I'm ready to grab a warp core and take it home. <laughs> I think they're gonna think it's so cool. Yeah. Here I am, look! It's it's my memories, one of one of them. Hee <laughs> hee hee. Wow, this place is so cool. I wonder what this button does. I, I don't need gravity. That's fine. Oh no, I need to turn it off. No gravity. Oh, I accidentally closed it again. Okay, we're taking it home. I'm taking it home. Also, holy shrimp, hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome, I'm dooming myself. <laughs> I'm back. Let's take this home. Oh, it sounds very ominous. Yeah, the, the epic endgame music. I'm not taking it where it needs to be, though. I'm simply going home. <laughs> it's okay. We all go together. It's, it feels so inappropriate hearing this music, knowing that I'm just being a silly. <laughs> what have you done, Hatchling? <laughs> yeah, also I've decided that my uh, my Harthian name would be Sandstone. I, de I decided on it. I decided my name is Sandstone. Boop. 
Okay. Psst. Time to show them what I found. I hope they like it. I hope they think it's really cool. Unless is it this way? Yeah, I, I see the, the museum over here. Hi, look what I found. I found something. Oh, I got an achievement! Yes! Bring an artifact back to the museum. I did. Nice. I did it. I did it. I, I brought it back to the museum. Right. I wonder. I wonder if I can get to the stranger. I don't think I will have time. But I want to try. I want to try. I'm not putting it back. <laughs> I'm not putting it back. This is mine now. Find his keepers. I think it's probably gotten really, really far by now, so probably not. Uh, also, this is... Uh, I'm going into DLC stuff now, so... If you want to avoid, like, DLC spoilery things... Um, I'm not doing too much involved with it, but I am going to, like, the DLC area. Just as a little forewarning. Yeah, look how far away it is. No, I think I can make it there. I think I can make it. Yeah. And then... And then I'll be out of the blast radius? and stay alive and not get put back in the loop because I have the core? Question mark? It's trying to send me back into the solar system. I'm not letting it. Stop it. Oh no, no, it's trying to slow me down. Never mind. I should have trusted the autopilot. Okay, I'm out of the blast radius now, at least. I know that much. Oh, isn't this exciting? So exciting. Perfect parking. Thank you. In we go. Oh, it won't open anymore. It won't open anymore because I'm I'm guessing stuff has happened, but that's okay. I'm go this way. This way? Yeah. Yeah. Not a problem. I have a new home now. It's a little bit, uh, it's gonna be a little bit busted up, but it's gonna be my home. <laughs> oh, the music is so much, it's so... <laughs> I feel so guilty hearing this incredible music and just being... doing this. Being like this. Why am I like this? <laughs> Oh, I'm just realizing too, I've, I'm, I'm kind of dooming Gabro by doing this. Uh, oops. Oops, oopsie. Hey, my new home! It's so nice in here. So I've got everything I need. I've, I've got a. Uh, uh, there's not really a food source here. No, I've got much. No, I don't. I left them on my ship. My ship is still here. Yeah, I think everything's fine. I think things are fine. I think I found my new home. And everything is perfectly all right. I am curious as to what would happen if I jump into the fire with the warp core here as well. But that can be next time. 
Oh, how long is this gonna take now, though? I, I don't know how far through everything I am. Let's just wait here. Have a nice little wait. Watch, watch the debris floating. <laughs> have a sip of my monster. <laughs> you monster, I am a monster, I have monster. <laughs> the music is so much. The music is so much. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know why. The, the music is genuinely making me feel guilty. Because it's it's like it's such like epic endgame music. And all I'm doing is dying. I feel so <laughs> I feel a little bad. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's for science. It's for science, no need to feel bad. It's for... The... Oh! Oh, my controller went weird for a second then. It is for the continued existence of Harthian people. I'm doing this... No, that doesn't quite work. I. I was going to say I'm doing this so that Harthians don't go extinct. But I don't actually know how they reproduce. And I don't want to think too hard about that either way. Maybe I maybe I maybe I can keep the Harthian race going just by myself on this tiny speck of Oh, I should have gone in the viewing chamber. I should have gone in the viewing chamber. I'm so silly. Probably won't make it there now. I forgot there's the cool viewing chamber here. Oh, well, it, everything's kind of blocked anyway. Oh, no, no, there it is. It's happening. It's doing it. Look at, look at that spicy... Spicy ball. <laughs> Look at that. It's okay. I'm safe. And I won't be re-looped because I grabbed the warp core. So I'm good. And I can definitely live here. Everything has fallen apart. Everything is broken. There's probably no food. I think I'm good. I think I'll be all, all right. <laughs> right? Uh, what have I done? Everyone I know is dead. But I'm alive. Yay! Yay! I'm, 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 I'm alive. I, <laughs> I did it. Uh, yay! <gasps> I did it. I did it. Okay. I won. Now beyond the reach of the supernova, you find yourself the only inhabitant of an abandoned world. Surely something here must be edible. <laughs> and we get silent credits just to drive the point home. Perfect. Perfect. Well, I think I won. I think I won that. It's the quietness. It's the quietness that gets to me. It's the moment of, okay, I am alive, but at, but at what cost? Do I want to be in this situation? I 
I won. Yay. Everything broke. <laughs> Good times. Good times. I'm going to have a sip of my monster. <laughs> I'm glad I tried that though. I'm I'm so glad I tried that. But uh now I'm like now I'm really curious what would happen if like I bring the warp core in here and then I I go into the matrix. Like if if I I die and go into the matrix. I wonder what that kind of ending would be like. <laughs> So I'm going to try it. Da, 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 da. Thank you for playing Outer Wilds. Thank you. I won. I'm so glad I won the game. <laughs> Yay. Right. Let's try that again. Right. What have I learned from this? Nothing. I've learned nothing. I've learned nothing at all, and we're gonna go and get the warp core again. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love this game. I'm gonna go for like four minutes just to play it safe. I don't know when it like clears up. I don't know what time. It becomes available to to warp on, but we can start here. I'm fine waiting a little bit. In the name of science. Yeah, see, Ash Twin has already started to clear up a little bit, so this shouldn't take as long. But oh, I'm so I'm I I'm so glad that came up with like a, a custom ending line as well. <laughs> like, that was so good. A Harpian cannot live on marshmallows alone. No, it's fine. Yeah, no. See, the plan is like everything. There, there's probably no food around. There probably is not food. Oh, that's where I need to be as well. I see it. I think. Yes, it's here. This is where I need to be. I need it to clear up a little bit more. But I'm in the right spot. If I, like, land here... And this is perfect! I got my suit, yep! But uh, if, I, if I just die and live in a simulation, I don't need food. I can also live there forever. I can join the concert. No, I probably can't join the concert. They are probably still going to um, attack me. But uh, I'm in the right place now. Probably shouldn't have jumped in here just yet, actually. Uh, I may have made a slight error in judgment, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to stay to the side a little bit. A little bit. Because I need it to be like this level. Bam, bam, bam. If a human can survive on Monster Ultra, then a Hearthian can surely survive on Marshmallows. True, right. Very true. Uh, they're still going to die when the dam breaks. Not all, they're, they're, they're already all dead. Only some of them will perish when the dam breaks. Some of them survive. And that's why I'm going to go specifically to their fires to make sure I also survive and my, my lamp doesn't get put out. Uh, while I wait, there was a thing Lums have wanted to mention, but you'll hint towards instead. There's a way other than just the sun to figure out when in the loop you are using your map. Ooh. Ooh, that is interesting. 
Hold on, I'll check afterwards. I think at the moment I'm... Yeah, it, it's almost time. Almost time to warp. But I, I will check that. I want to... I haven't really checked out much of the map, to be fair. Oh, and Gambler, thank you for the hydrate! Thank you. I'll have a sip once I've warped. Because the warp's about to happen and I don't want to miss it. But thank you for stopping in. I hope you sleep well. Thank you. I will I will do my best with the silly shenanigans. All right. Let's get that core. Also, I'm I'm a little curious about something else too that I want to try. It might not do anything, but a little part of me wonders if anything will happen if I take the core out and then put it back in. I don't remember if I've tried it or not yet. And on the off chance I haven't, <laughs> I want to try. Oh no, I think I did try because the music stopped and then I put it back in and the music's back. No, I remember that now. Okay. Right. My warp core. <laughs> We're taking it into the matrix. gonna get the super dramatic music again. Ah. ah! I don't see how anything can go wrong. Everything is definitely fine. Please get me away from the sun. I do not want to be anywhere close to being in line with the sun. I'm very, very far off here, but it's okay. Just, just so far away just to make sure I don't go into the sun. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. Oh, I was going to check the map. Did you see that roll? That was a good roll. I'm proud of that roll. Good times. Alright, I wonder if I can make it through this time. I wonder if it's already blocked off. It's not blocked off yet. Perfect. I'm going out this way. The dam is about to burst. This is really silly. Extremely silly idea, probably, but that's fine by me. We're hot putting it to the gorge. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know when it's gonna burst. It would be so ironically beautiful if I get if I get zapped by like an electrical line falling on top of me or something. I could fully see that happening at this point. <laughs> huh. It's okay, it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I'm truly living like I can never die. I have no fears anymore. I overcame my fears last week. Now I fear nothing, not even death. Not even myself. Actually, I may fear myself a little bit. <laughs> Just 
to the gorge. We'll go this way. We'll go this way. It's getting a little, little rocky. Yes. Oh, look at that. Now the part I'm worried about is the bridge going over, but I think I'm still going to be fine for that as well. <gasps> oh, there it is! There it is! I heard it. I heard it go. I heard it go. Pum pum pum. Oh, when I'm done, you do recommend watching a 100% speedrun of the DLC. 20 minutes of absolute nonsense. That sounds incredible. That sounds like so much fun. Also, Loxley, hello! I very quickly paused the game. No spoilies. No spoilies. Don't worry about it. There's nothing happening here. <laughs> but hi, Loxley! Welcome! Thank you for the raid! I hope the Hades went well. I hope you had fun. But uh, welcome on in to anyone who's new here. Hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games, and I just finished the DLC of Outer Wilds, and I'm now doing silly stuff, and, um, things that I very much should not do, but I'm doing anyway, for science. <laughs> but uh, I know you plan on playing this at some point, so please do feel free to lurk to look away, because there will be spoilers. Upcoming. <laughs> But uh, thank you for bringing the raid here. Oh, went super well. Very nearly finished with the plot. Oh, oh, that's exciting then. Hopefully soon then. Hee <laughs> hee. But uh, also as well, I know it is getting pretty late as well on a Sunday. So if you have to go to bed, please don't feel like you got to stick around. But uh, thank you for bringing the raid this way. <laughs> oh, we got to we got to catch up again soon. I I've been a little bit all over the place recently. But we got to arrange like a, a board game thing at some point. Because that's always fun. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for the raid and run. Thank you very much. I hope you rest well. And thank you for bringing, it, <laughs> bringing the raid this way. It is very appreciated. From one Brit to another. <laughs> but yes, I hope you rest well. Thank you for the raid. I'm going to continue now, so look away. No spoilers. Although even if you did see what I was doing, it... I doubt it would make much sense at the moment. This is the part I'm scared of. I may just wait on this side until the bridge breaks. No, I'm gonna risk it. I shouldn't have risked it. I shouldn't have risked it. I shouldn't have risked it. I should have known. I should not have risked it. I was silly. I shouldn't have risked it. It's okay, I can still get back from here. I can still get back. <laughs> I can still get back. We're fine. <laughs> Top 10 silly moments. That's a great one. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> like, I knew it was going to happen and I still did it. <laughs> oh, I knew it was going to happen. I still did it. We're fine. I'm fine. Nothing happened. I don't even know, like, why I dropped the warp core over here either. I guess you just wait there now. I can't exactly take it with me. Which one is it? <laughs> right, well, if I'm stuck here forever, I don't want to be stuck outside here forever. So let's... <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Good night. Here we are. This is my life now. This is my life now. I'm now now I'm here forever. And they're all gonna Oh, oh, okay. Just 
That was a, qu a quick fade out. That's quite kind. How much time has passed? They don't even bother to hunt you anymore. Time passes and passes until your life before is some half-remembered dream. If only you could wake up. <laughs> yes! I did it! Okay, that, that was a nice one. They did not make me wander around aimlessly for a while. <laughs> but, uh, but, yay! I live forever! Woo! <laughs> Woo! I'm so happy having, having a great great time <laughs> ah. I'm still laughing about the bridge I, I knew it I, I knew I should have waited and I did not too impatient for my own good <laughs> yay I did it and hello Jack welcome I'm so glad you managed to join as I doomed myself <laughs> Game about accepting death and the end of all things? Nonsense. It's immortality in spooky night world. Exactly, yeah. It's like I, I hear about the heat death of the universe and I go, you know what? I'm built different. I will simply not be in the universe. I will simply exist in the matrix. I'm not taking the pill to wake up. I'm I'm staying in there forever. <laughs> Continuing this beautiful dream. Oh, this is this is such a good game though. I'm I love this game. Right, the question now is do I try the ending? I think I might try the ending because I don't know how long it's going to take me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off first try because of those awful anglerfish. <laughs> but I think I might want to give it a try, maybe. Oh, hey, it's the quantum moon. Hi. Wait. I wonder what would happen if I put the warp core on the quantum moon. Never mind, we're not trying the ending yet. I have another silly thing I need to try. <laughs> I have another silly thing I gotta try. Oh, I'm, I'm good at this game. Oh no, I can just use my map for the twin. <laughs> my sudden moment of, do I do things properly? No, I just realized something else silly I can do. Therefore, I must. Ba -ba -ba. Oh no, is the sun gonna. The sun's gonna get in the way of autopilot. No, it's not. Okay. I thought it was going around the other way. I thought the orbit was the other way around. <laughs> I'm just overly cautious. Oops, oops, oops. That is in the way, though. Approaching very slowly. Hmm. Right, I'll just wait here for a bit. Because I'm pretty sure this is like the, the north and south. Let me step on the ground and check. Yeah, th these are the north and south and the, the sand is from like around the middle. So this should be safe for me to just wait at. But, uh... Right. So you said there's a way to know what part of the loop you're in from the map. Is it related to the, uh, the satellite things in the, the radio tower place? Like, telling where all the planets were? Because I, I noticed there were all of the things on the wall. It is not okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, much easier mid loop. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just wait a bit then. <laughs> but uh, knowing me and my observation skills, I probably will miss it. <laughs> so I don't mind... I don't mind uh, spoilers for th that kind of mechanical detail, I think. Because of my powers of observation. Da -da -da. Hello. What is this? Oh, that's the white hole! That's the white hole that I boop out of whenever the black hole grabs me. I see. There's giant steam. Hourglass twins. Spicy sun. I've kind of just been using the spicy sun as a guide at the moment. Uh, there's a thing for measuring time right on the map. Wait, is that? Wait, I don't even... Oh, wait, is it going to be the satellite? How long the satellite? Because the satellite's doing like full loops. It's doing like a full circuit. Is it like the positioning of the, the satellite? Oh, that that <laughs> that would work too, sure. Guess you could use it too. I'm guessing that's not the intended thing. Yeah, I'm incredibly unobservant. It seems. Hmm. Yeah. What did we use before clocks? Oh, sundials. But I I don't know how a sundial would be helpful when I'm like zooping around the sun from every angle. Hmm. Uh, just for timing things. The problem is I don't I don't know how long it takes these things to do an orbit of the sun. This is something that has told me that I've I fully missed. Hold on, let me I I wanna go look at the, the log for the hourglass twins again. If I can remember where if they're even on here. to be here somewhere. There's it's like Ash Twin Project. Da, da, da. Hmm. Okay, energy lab. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Oh, I'll hate you. <laughs> Why would you think that? What? <laughs> okay, can you tell me, please? I'm I'm very lost. I'm just like looking at them all moving around. About read all the planet names. Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, Brittle Hollow, Hourglass Twins. Zoom in on the twins. Hello? Yeah, they're going around. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't get it, unless you mean like looking at Ash Twin to see how much of it has been revealed. Ah. One of the planets mentions a time measuring device. What in like in like the high energy lab? I'm I'm so lost right now. I don't know if I'm just having a silly moment. Like on the map, it's one of the words of what? I'm, 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 I'm so confused. Unless you literally just mean the word hourglass. I know what an hourglass is. I know about an hourglass for measuring time. I don't know how to read it. I don't know how to read it. What, what the implication is of how I can tell what time it is from that. That's the bit I don't get. <laughs> do, you, do you just mean the sand? Yeah, I figured that much because it, it starts at like the start of the loop and then by the end Ember Twin is like full up. <laughs> like I figured that could be a way too. I was just so curious when you're like, there's like an active way to read the time. <laughs> okay, I, I think I like my, my spicy Cheeto sun method the most to figure out what time it is. Right. Oh no, I, I I will need my my ship. Right, let's see how close we are. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, we we got time. Perfect. It's ready for us. Fabulous! Oh, oh wrong, wrong side. This side. It's ready for us! How nice! Oh. Oh, because the sun gets bigger through the loop at its spiciest point, the sun is almost touching the twins. Oh, wait, that's so cool! Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Like, the gap between the sun and the twins can give you an idea of how close it is to the end of everything. That makes that makes sense. <laughs> I think the thing that confused me was saying like this direct way to read it. I was expecting like numbers saying what time it is or like a frequency or something. <laughs> that one's on me though. But yeah, there are I, I like that there are a bunch of ways to to figure out whereabouts you are as well. Like, even though I don't have a watch, it would be so handy if I just had a watch, wouldn't it? That would help in so many ways. Just stick a little clock on my on my wrist. Wouldn't that be handy? <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the warp core to the quantum moon and go live there. I'm gonna go live with Solanum. Was that her name? Solanum? I think that was her name. Well, I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna take the warp core and go live on the quantum moon. I think. <laughs> Bring it along. Yeah, the satellite trail is pretty evocative of a clock. Uh, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not a full loop because it's not like an entire day that I'm like in the game because of it being so close to like the end of the world and stuff. It's like 20 minutes. 20, 22 minutes? I think it's 20 minutes and then there's the two minute uh, music. I could be wrong.
but yeah, there probably are ways, like, if you monitor everything. Wait, why is my ship so far away? Uh-oh, what happened? Oh no, my ship ended up over there. Oh no. Uh, oops. I guess I've got to somehow get over <laughs> over to Ember Twin now. I did not park that in the right spot. That's okay. That's alright. I have experience floating in space. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yes. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Haha. <laughs> I survived. <laughs> now I need to get to my ship and hope my ship is not completely destroyed. I don't think it's completely destroyed. Oh, come on, I was right there. Please let me on. Thank you. There we go. Okay, got my ship. I'm going. Can't see you. Okay. Oh wait! Oh my goodness! That's so handy. Hold on. Why are you not taking a photo of it? No, I've lost it. Why wasn't it taking a photo? Why wasn't it taking a photo? The moon was there. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Why didn't it? <laughs> oh, it's okay. Let's go to a nicer planet. Wait for it to show up around somewhere else. Like Timber Hearth. Timber Hearth is much nicer. Why? I don't know why it wasn't. Oh God. Wait, no, it's, it's right there as well now. Okay, I got a photo of it that time. Okay, okay. Okay, I took a photo, it's gonna stay there. Hitting the backwards photo button? I wasn't, I was hitting R1. I was doing the forward snapshot. Oh, I, I bet when I tabbed out, it messed up my keybinds again. <laughs> I got the photo that time. I don't know what happened, but it's okay. I'm pretty sure it shows up on this photo. Yes, I made it. I made it fabulous. I don't care if it's damaged. That's what I wanted. I have no idea what happened, but it's okay because I made it. Right. Where are you, funky tower thing? There you are. Okay. I still have the warp core. Okay. I'm glad I can carry them both. All right, lights are on. Let's close the door. Oh, the warp core kind of lights up. Hmm. Hopefully that's okay. Okay, this is the dark bramble one. We can go out here. I gotta go north. Far north as I can get. Oh, hoping Solanum has a new what's that you're holding chat option. Me too. Me too, that's what I'm I'm hoping for the most. Can I just get north from here? Okay, not quite. I need to find somewhere else to go fully north. Let's 
Not go north from here, okay. <gasps> oh, but I need to be north. I think that, yeah, it's just not gonna let me out. I need to be north before I can get out here. Timber Hearth? That, that seems like it'd be good. Can I go north from here? I can. I can. Here we go. Here we go. We're at the north. How perfect. Perfect. And now from here we can go to the eye. I please. There we go. Finally, thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, I made it. I live here now. This is my home now. getting to try things out. Back to the south I trek. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, hello. Who are you? Communicate. Can I communicate with this? Can I give you a warp core? Would you like it? Also, Yuzu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Um. Identify, explain. These are the two tenets of Namai philosophy. To seek out and to understand is our way of living. Yes. I, I think that's like, I didn't actually try that combination before, so that's quite good. How about me? How about me? Also, Suzume, hello! Hold on, I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause while the raid happens. <laughs> Suzume, hello! Thank you for the raid! Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to uh, me doing silly things because I, I did it. <laughs> welcome. How's it going? I hope you had a good stream. I hope you had fun uh, with the... Oh, you were playing the Tithe in Blood demo. I hope you had fun with it. I still haven't played it. I still haven't played it. So uh, no spoilers, please. But uh, I hope I hope you had fun with it. Hiya, Papaya. You're still sick. Oh, I hope you feel better soon. But uh, thank you for bringing the raid this way. Uh, to anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK. And I love comfy games and puzzle games. And I am currently um, making very bad decisions to see what happens. In the name of science. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, though. Oh, I'm sad to hear you're still sick, though. I hope you feel better soon. <laughs> but thank you for bringing the raid this way. I hope you had a nice stream, even if you are still sick. Hopefully you recover soon. But uh, thank you. Thank you for bringing the raid here. I'm just doing silly things at the moment. I'm having a great time just making really bad mistakes. But it's a lot of fun. But yes, I hope you had a good stream. And if you have to head off and 
get some food or drink or please, please hydrate and rest. <laughs> Especially if you're sick, please uh, hydrate and rest. I'll tuck you in and make you warm porridge. <laughs> but uh, thank you for stopping in and sending the raid this way. And if you want to lurk for a bit, I am just doing silly stuff. Oh, Dima, thank you for the posture check and hydrate too. Let me have a big stretch. And sit up straight and have a sip of my drink. Oh, I'm stuck with you even if you're sick. I'm, I'm never stuck with you. Never feels like I'm stuck, but uh, thank you. Thank you if you want to lurk and hang out for a bit. Um, I'm just going to be talking to this lovely Nomai for a little bit. But uh, I'm mostly just doing silly things at the moment. It's a lot of fun. Right, identify me. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. I'm so glad we can translate like this. It's so nice. Right, let's do all of these. I'm gonna go through like methodically because I may have missed stuff before. I wasn't doing it very methodically. This is the quantum moon where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Aha. Bum, 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 bum. You. Identify you? I am Solanum Anomai. My clan arrived in this star system before my birth, and we now call it home. So nice. Oh, my controller keeps drifting every now and then. I think I've, I've broken it. <laughs> All right, identify Eye of the Universe, please. We are orbiting the Eye of the Universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The Eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. Yeah, we know that much. Right, and now we will do explain. Explain me? <laughs> I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the Eye of the Universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did? No, we... we evolved here. We evolved to exist here. Explain Eye of the Universe, please. There is fundamentally... fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Oh, never mind, it's the end. End of the world, as we know it. And I feel fine. How long have you been here? Minutes? Years? You are unsure, but it seems your journey has reached its end. Aha. Uh -huh. Very interesting. Not even a warning for that one. It's just, yep. Yep, you're here forever. With Solanum trapped in quantum. It really is like the full definition of quantum entanglement. I'm so entangled. I got so entangled. <laughs> entangled forever. <laughs> nice. Another ending achieved. Anyway, I think now is probably the time to try and actually do it. I am really scared of heading through the anglerfish, though. I am not going to lie. I'm very scared of the anglerfish moments. <laughs> Immortality achieved version two. Yeah, I think this is version two. I'm pretty sure I'm probably dead on every other existence of the quantum moon that is not next to the eye of the universe. In the same way Solanum... Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure we saw Solanum's corpse on all of the other quantum moons. It's like they all exist at the same time, whilst also only one of them exists at the same time. Leary, Leary, Leary. Leary, 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 that's me! Rat! Thank you so much for the resub for 15 months. Oh my goodness. Hi, Rat. 
Welcome, I just won the game. I did not win the game. I I'm I doomed myself to an eternity of um existence. But I, but hi! Thank you, thank you for the resub. Thank you so much. But I think I think it's time to try try and complete the game again, maybe. I'm a little scared. I'm very scared, actually. But I'm gonna do my best. Oop. Right, do I sleep? I think sleeping for the, the four minutes was like a nice middle ground where it wasn't too long, but it still... But it wasn't too short either. Like, it still gives me time to get there without rushing. So I'm gonna stick with the four minutes again. Have a little nap. But yeah... He's so, so happy. Some parts were so scary. Yeah, I'm... The DLC was really... Okay, I did three minutes. The DLC was really good at building the tension. It was... Oh, it's so good. I love this game. I love this game so much. I'm so happy. Huh. Wait. I just realized something. I just realized something. Now that I completed or nearly completed the DLC. I did that this week. Talos Principle 2 DLC comes out on Friday. So I can just jump straight into that next Sunday. Oh my goodness, it, this worked out so perfectly. Oh, this worked out so perfectly. <laughs> Presuming I do reach the end now and I don't just die to anglerfish for two hours. Like an, an hour and a half. <laughs> Oh, but it worked. It worked. That worked out so well. Huh. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the vessel. That is what I want to keep marked. And now we're going to head to Ash Twin. We're going to get the warp core and we're going to um, hopefully not die to Anglerfish. Maybe. We will see. But, oh, I, I can't believe the Talos Principle 2 DLC is coming out so soon as well. Like, I, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the moon out. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. We're good. We're good! Uh, should you play Talos Principle 2 before watching DLC? You already bought it but haven't played it? I would say yes. I would definitely recommend yes. I don't know what fully what the DLC has in it, but I'd just recommend playing Talos 2 anyway because it's good. Like, <laughs> cause it's, just, it's just a really fun game. I just, yes. Highly recommend it. A lot of fun. Okay. Okay, now I wait. I'm gonna wait in the ship. And we'll see how things go. Oh, I really hope DLC's good. Wasn't very impressed with the sequel. Oh, you weren't? I really enjoyed it. I I really liked it. Like, it's, it's very different to the first game. It's... Even though, like, a lot... It has, like, a lot in common. It is thematically and story-wise a very very different game to the first one so i can understand like preferring one over the other but uh i'm i'm really excited for the dlc because honestly like when i think about talos one i really love that game but i feel like all of the wow moments for me at least like in a puzzle sense were part of the dlc the road to gehenna dlc so i've got my fingers crossed for the dlc for talos 2 to get those like trickier puzzles and stuff but yes they did mention it's gonna be harder oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness is the the kittens coming in hello you can hello thank you for the raid welcome in welcome in kittens um <laughs> welcome to uh end game outer wild stuff uh, please please look away avoid spoilers if you haven't played but i'll keep it paused it's safe 
<laughs> but thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? How did the dredge go? Did you get all the fish? <laughs> to anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And um, I've spent the last hour and a half or so of this game uh, doing uh, silly things to see what would happen on purpose and dooming myself to an eternity of um, de death. Uh, <laughs> I've been... Um, I've I've been dooming myself pretty much, but uh, it's been great. It's been fun. <laughs> but oh, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming along. Feel free to to pull up a bean bag, pull up a grab a can of monster. There there might be some left. I may have drunk them all. But uh, thank you for bringing the raid this way. Oh, you fish so much. Happy to hear it. I'm very glad to hear it. I'm a I'm about to be encountering fish. I say in like the vaguest way possible. <laughs> But yes, I'm currently playing Outer Wilds, which is an incredible, incredible game. The the kind of game that is so much better if you go into it not knowing anything, which is why I am staying paused while I <laughs> greet everybody. In. <laughs> but uh, I am extremely endgame Outer Wilds at the moment. I just finished the DLC for the first time. And so I'm about to finish the base game again after finishing the DLC to see if things change, because I feel like it might a little bit. But yes, I'm I'm like very super endgame at the moment. So if anyone has to head off or lurk or like mute me, I fully understand. It's a really good game. But uh, hello, everybody. Hello, all of the kittens coming in from the raid. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome along. I hope you enjoy your time here. If you decide to stick around, it's it's going to be fun. I'm. I, I was about to say um, we're gonna have a, a a chill, comfy time. I'm. I'm not gonna be in a chill, comfy environment. Uh, it's. It'll be fine. It'll be good. <laughs> but ah, uh, a trope at Everwood. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome on in. Hope you enjoy your time here. Oh, uh, you do want to play? Everyone tells you it's best if you go in blind. Yeah, it. It really is. It's like at its core, this game is about discovery and exploration and if you already if you get spoiled on the information then you don't have that discovery you don't have those moments of figuring things out and being like oh suddenly that thing i saw earlier makes so much sense now that i've seen this it's it's like you're getting like the big pin board and when you start to connect everything together there are so many incredible moments where you're just like oh, i get it now and it's it's so fun. It is so fun. I cannot stop gushing about it. It is one of my... You know what? I I think I'd say top three. I think I'd say it's one of my top three games now, just in general. Especially, like, after the DLC as well. The DLC added so much more context to the base game, and I, 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 love, I love it. I love this game. I love it so much. It's really, really good. <laughs> I recommend it so much. But yes, if you do want to play it, though, if it seems like the kind of thing anyone might want to play unspoiled, uh, please look away. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm here doing like the opposite of what most people do. When a raid happens, most people are like, hey, please stick around. Please join me. And I'm here now like, uh, hi, don't watch this if you want to play this game. Uh, <laughs> just actively sending people away. <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing a very good job of this uh promoting myself thing, am I? <laughs> but it's it's I it's the kind of thing I don't even mind because I it's just such a grand experience. It's just such a good experience. I I am really excited to fully finish it myself so that I can then just watch everybody else play it. I want to I want to watch every playthrough I can find of people playing this game. <laughs> It's really, really fun. But yes, thank you so much for the raid again, though. And thank you for for lurking and looking away. Don't, do not look. Spoilers abound. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone, for, for stopping in. If you decide to stick around after the raid, I hope you enjoy your time here. I'm going to do a few little scary things. But... I've I've done it before. I know I can do it. 
and it's not as scary as some of the other stuff I've done, so I'm feeling confident. <laughs> But yeah, thank you, thank you so much, everyone, for stopping in as well, though. It all, uh, oh, you felt bad because you have family time to do soon, but since it gets a pass to not spoil you, my dip. Yeah, it's it's the perfect excuse. But either way, as well, like if if anyone's been in you can stream for the whole time and needs to head off and rest, I'm not gonna feel bad if, <laughs> if people if people dip and have to head off. But if anyone does. But if if anyone likes me, if you want to see my other streams, you can drop a follow. <laughs> but no, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to continue now. I'm gonna, oh, just kidding. I'm going to knock my dictionary off my desk. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to continue now. So it's going to be endgame Outer Wilds moments. Hopefully I can do it. I hope I can do it. I believe. See how this goes. See where we're at. I'm just gonna follow the sand. I'm here, I'm here like with plenty of time. I'm here way earlier than I need to be. Because I'm a worried baby. And it's just like me in real life as well. Like if I if I have to make plans for something, I will be there super super early because I would always I'd rather be half an hour early than three minutes late I'm like, <laughs> I don't mind waiting I'm a patient person right, we're just following it it's a little woobly I'm woobling a little bit as I fly but I just want to find the spot where I need to be. Was oh, it here? No, it's not. It's not here. No, I think it's the next one down from here. I think where I need to be is going to be like There, there it is. I see it. Right, I'm parking like really far away from the sand this time because Last time my ship got carried away, I'd rather that not happen again. But yeah, this is the spot I need to be at. I... Oh, I might have been able to do it this time. I'm a tiny bit late. Oh, it's okay. I'll wait. I'll wait for the next one. I should still have time. I think I'll still have time. I believe. <laughs> ah. Oh, I'm so nervous again. Like, even though I've already done this, I'm still so nervous again. I feel like I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna mess it up. It's okay. Stay strong. Oh, if I just arrived a tiny bit sooner, I would have been able to jump in on that loop. That was so close. It's okay, it'll be back. I'm gonna have some monster. Whew! Whew! Okay, here we go. Oh, satellite starts at around 3.30, moving counterclockwise, or 8.30, moving clockwise. And the end music starts when it loops around to 4 or 5. Oh, that's really interesting! Oh, four or eight. So, like, the equivalent of, like, half. Yeah. I think I get it. Yeah, like, the 30 mark. I, I, I get it. I'm, I'm not saying it out loud properly in a way that makes sense, but I, I, I get it. Yo, Carl St. Lou, hello! Welcome, welcome. Welcome to me waiting for the sand. I think it's sand? Sand time? Sand. Okay, it's sand time. I'm ready.
All right. This time, this time I am going to take the core and I am not going to take it to a silly place and perish. Hopefully, maybe, hopefully. Oh, so, oh, so music is very nearly a full loop and you already closed the game so explodey time is probably about a full loop. That's so cool. That's very cool to know. All right, I would like this please. And I'm I'm so scared for the the bramble. Why why wouldn't you pick it up? Oh my god, pick it up! Okay. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Okay. All right, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. Okay, I hope I don't mess this up. We'll soon see. Right. <laughs> oh, the first time I picked this up and the music started playing, I remember feeling so terrified that I'd messed everything up immediately, thinking I had like a minute left to do anything. Please don't send me into the sun. Please don't send me into the sun. Please don't send me into the sun. Thank you. Here we go. Uh, the moment of, um, moment of Duchens, probably. I'm not turning them off. I'm just going to leave them on. I'm, <laughs> I'm resigning myself to my fate. Right, I'm gonna do what I did last time, because last time I left my ship behind, and I think that was the right call. I think trying to maneuver my ship through here is a really bad idea. Therefore, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, like... Pretty sure I'm going to the the orange one. Pretty sure it's the orange one. I think that's a fish. I'm just gonna float for a bit. I'm I'm too baby scared. I'm I'm scared baby. I'm just gonna float really slowly. I'm pretty sure in here, I think this is where I have to go really fast. Yes, you, I, you, I can see all the anglerfish. I've got to go through here with speed. I've got to be... I've got to go down a bit. Oh, God, I can't line this up. I've got to be going really fast through here. I'm going, I'm going. I'm going. I'm not here. Sorry. Sorry, can't answer the door. I'm not here. I'm not here. It's a sorry. Um, let, let, let yourself in. I'm... Uh... Oh, I hate this place. Oh, I hate this place. Okay, I might be safe now. to get a bit more speed at least. Is that another anglerfish? It is. It is. I'm just fine. I'm just fine. I'm not here. I'm not here. There's nothing here. I'm not here. Nothing here. Nobody here. I'm not here. Nobody here.
Safety, safety. I made it. 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 First try. I didn't get eaten. <gasps> I was not fish bait. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I did that at first try. I thought I was going to get eaten. Um, how do I get in again? <laughs> how do I get in here again? Hold on. Down and in. So painful if I get here, but then I, I perish before I can get inside. What's the way in? I know there's. Oh. I'm gonna die because I can't get inside, aren't I? This is so bad. the lights <gasps> I went right past it I'm oh my goodness I am I know it's okay <laughs> it's okay I float I went the wrong way it's okay I know there's oxygen in here I just gotta get in I just gotta get in Here it is. I'm fine. I'm safe. I'm safe and fine. I'm safe and fine. I'm fine and safe. Uh, planned. Nothing bad happened. Everything is fine. Not a problem. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Planned and definitely everything I meant to do. Definitely everything I meant to do. Uh, don't worry about it. I, I meant to do all of that. I was just testing you. All right, here we go. Okay. First symbol. This is the part where my hand wobbles. No, it undid it because it went backwards. Oh, no. This part's the hardest to control, honestly. Funky little end shape. Okay, there we go. I did it. I did it. I did it. We're safe and fine. We're safe and fine. There was never any doubt. There was never anything to worry about. I had it under control the whole time, I swear. I swear I did. All right. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We are safe and fine. Thank you for the head pat. Space Odyssey time. Yes. Uh, oh, see the stranger onion in the sky? Hold on. What? Oh. Oh. oh, I see things in the sky. Oh, if there was anything out, out of the window, I, um, I didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't see that. Oh, signal scope can st zoom in. Oh, oh wait, yeah. Oh. Hello. Oh, look at all that. Oh, look at all these supernovas. 
a little scary. A little bit. I'm gonna keep moving. I'm gonna keep going. Uh, I'll look. I'll look back on the board afterwards, maybe. No timer here. Yeah, I, I know there's no timer technically, but I'm still like I. I don't want to spend too long looking around because knowing me, I still won't see it anyway. Oh, hello! Oh, hi! Hey, there it is! I see it! Hello! Hello, little spider! There it is! I found it. Okay, we're good. Oh, and frozen fire! Hello! Welcome, welcome! You were dead and forgot about stream today. Oh, it's okay. Uh, I I did that. Uh, I did the uh, the DLC, kind of. I did. I I got to the the moment of the DLC where I got the, the name title card pop up, and I am now finishing the game again. So you're actually here at like the perfect time, because I just did the whole like warp core vessel, head to the eye thing again, because I'm I'm pretty sure things are gonna change after everything I've been through, after everything that's happened. Oh, do I follow? Oh, it's where my scout is. Never mind. I, I saw a line and I was like, oh, can, do I follow that? That's just where I shot my scout out to. All right, well, here we go. <laughs> Found the thingy. Axel missed the rest. Yeah, oh, it's, the, the vault is gonna be up though, so. Don't worry, it's all there in the VOD. And I I cried. Oh, I saw that. I see Twee. Where are the trees? Twee. Keep going south. Hey hey. He he he. Hello. It does look so cool, look at that. Puzzle's so good, I'm doing it twice. No, it's it's just, uh, I'm... I forgot everything I was doing. Because I'm pretty sure I, like, managed to find a way up, like, climbing rocks and stuff last time. I just don't remember how I did that. Because I'm very clever and smart. Um... Over that side? Can I climb up on that? <laughs> Honestly, thank goodness there's no time limit here because I would be doomed. Where am I going? Oh, 
I, ju I just walk around on here. Just go up this way. Yeah. Oxygen is limited still. Yeah, that's true. There, there is... There is the, the oxygen to worry about, but I'm, I'm fine. There we go. I remembered. Yeah, past Leary didn't even hesitate. Yeah, I... I was, like, right in there. This time I was... I forgot... how to end up in there. It's okay. Whoop! <gasps> the museum! Would you look at that? Outer Wilds Ventures was founded by Feldspar, Gossan, Slate, and Hornfells to explore a solar system at the end of the universe. Yeah! Hee <gasps> hee! <gasps> The Namai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Harthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. I was. Oh, I wonder if there's more stuff in here now. <gasps> I wonder if this. Oh. The radio tower on Timberhearth was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite and housed some of the last ever photos taken of the entire solar system. One of these photos revealed the existence of an invisible ring world inhabited by a species whose presence in our solar system predated even the Nomai. This species travelled from a nearby star system in search of the eye of the universe, but, horrified by what they discovered, decided to block the eye's signal so that no one else would ever find it. One individual, however, rebelled against the decision and was able to briefly release the eye's signal back into space before being caught and imprisoned in solitude for this betrayal. I'm still so curious as to why they decided to unblock the signal in the first place. The Namai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it the deadly substance we call ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. Hoo -hoo. Uh, Provnik, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy your time here. Welcome to uh, <laughs> this. Welcome. Oh, it. Oh. Okay. It did. Of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the anglerfish the least. So true. So true. I love seeing all the photos around as well, though. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and then exploded in a violent supernova. Wonderful! Bum, bum, bum. Quantum rocks? Nope. Okay, I'm not allowed out there. Good to know. I guess I'm going up. We've got marshmallows. We're safe. We're safe. We're not going to starve. Ba -ba -ba. Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. And this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I, I think I need to sit down. Hmm, this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. It's almost as if the entire universe is expanding. Almost like a big bang. But if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? Ho 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 ho. <laughs> Let us observe. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sweet note. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the raid. How's it going? Thank you so much. Sweet raid. Eyeball, eyeball raid? Is it sweet or eyeballs? Should I be worried? <laughs> but hello, raiders. Thank you so much. Thank you for the raid. Uh... 
Um, um, stop listening right now if you don't want spoilers for Outer Wilds. Uh, but <laughs> welcome to the end of the universe. Hi. <laughs> but thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games and incredible exploration discovery games like this one. But uh, thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. I hope the Kirby went well. Oh, I, I love Kirby games. Kirby is very cute. <laughs> but thank you for bringing the raid here. I hope you had a, a good stream. Welcome in. Uh, welcome to a very, very late end game Outer Wilds at the moment. I'm, I'm pretty much like the most end game I possibly could be right now. So I will give big warnings in advance. If you don't want to be spoiled for Outer Wilds, this is the end of the game. <laughs> but uh, if you want to stick around, you are welcome to stick around. And thank you for bringing the raid this way. Also, Oblivious Damsel, thank you for the follow too. Welcome. Oh my goodness, wait. And Swamp Varmint as well, thank you for the follow. I just hit 2,500 followers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone. Welcome on in. Uh, love the model. Thank you. Thank you so much. My my model artist, Addy, did such a good job with it. Hold on. Let me... Let me plug her. There she is. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you think so. But uh, I hope you had a good stream. And uh, if you have to head off after your stream, if you're tired or need some food or drink, please don't feel obligated to stick around. If you got to head off, but if you do want to stick around for a bit, there's going to be a, at least a little bit more outer wildsing. But uh, I'm I'm very end game at the moment, so <laughs> it's very close to the end of the game. So it's a, just a, as a gentle warning if anyone wants to avoid spoilers. But if you want to stick around, it's it's good. I'm I'm I love this game. I love this game so much. It's so good. But yeah, thank you so much for following too. Thank you so much for all the followers. Yeah, you 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 all managed to get me to 2.5k. <laughs> My little follower goal. Thank you. Oh, I love how your name sounds in the British accent. Yeah, swamp varmint. It's it it kind of makes it sound like the opposite kind of vibe you'd get with like an American accent, I think. <laughs> But welcome in, welcome in. I'm glad you, you raided before I hit observe, because now you get to watch this. Check this out. Oh, Midnight Fox, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you for deciding to stick around. I hope you enjoy your time here. Anyway, check this out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Isn't this cool? A Terra Nox, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you so much for all the follows. Welcome. Welcome in to um I'm just gonna go. I'm just going in a straight line. I'm just going. Welcome to the universe. The universe, which is definitely fine. Oh Oh no, I'm on the ground! But uh but, uh, see all of these? All of these? All of all of these little things here? Uh, last chance warning for very big Outer wild spoilers. Very, very last warning. But, uh, look at, look at all of these galaxies exploding. Oh, they're about to. Yeah, look at that! Look! It exploded! There they go. Oh, there's one over here. Oh, it's gone. Look at that! Oh, oh, goodbye! Uh, <laughs> everything is fine here. But yes, thank you so much everyone for stopping in though. But I uh, love my colour palette and the shape of my glasses. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I, I love these glasses too. These are, these are my real life glasses. I, for the longest time I used to have rectangular frames for my glasses. And then last time I got my eyes tested, I decided something different on a complete whim because the the very kind shop assistant suggested it to me and i was like why have i not had these glasses my whole life they're really nice 
But yes, thank you so much for the lurks and for, for stopping in and for all the follows. I very much appreciate it. But uh, has this game made me cry yet? I have cried multiple times. I cried earlier in this stream. I had tears running down my cheeks. <laughs> it's really good. It's incredible. It's such an incredible, incredible game. It's very dark too. Let's follow the signals. Signal. This way. This way. This way. Hi. Oh, bye. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's only recently you can get glasses other than rectangular or oval. I'm not, I've, I don't know. Every time I've gone to get new glasses, there's, there have been loads of shapes available. I just kind of stuck with what I always had because I don't like change. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm really glad I changed them, though, because I, I love these glasses. Right, where are we? Where am I? Oh, no. Goodbye. Hello? Campfire! Ha ha! Marshmallow for the end of the universe, anybody? Whoom. Crunchy. Ha! Ah. Yeah, sadly you can't play the game again. I feel like this really is the kind of game that is like a... It's very much a one and done experience. Like, you, you won't get the same experience replaying it. But also... It's the kind of game that doesn't need to be replayed as well. Like, I'm... one when I, Once I'm done with everything, I'm going to be very happy to just be done with it. Because I'm just going to watch other people. I just want to see other people's reactions to everything. <laughs> right, let's try find someone. Where's everybody at? Where is everyone? Ha ha! There you are. I had to look away. Hi, Eska! Do you hear music? Music. I do hear music. <gasps> it's the banjo. Right, so I need to quantum get in here. Through door? Through roof. Hmm. I need to get into here. There we go. Tiny jump, tiny jump. I can't get in, oh my goodness, okay. It's all right, I can get in this way. I got it. I got the banjo. Hee <laughs> hee. Rebecca, it's um, it's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. No rush, take your time. It might not even exist here. Oh my goodness, hi. Oh, I'm getting so many raids today. Thank you, thank you so much. Hi, Gil, welcome. Welcome on in, raiders. Hi, how's it going? Welcome to very end game Outer Wilds, please. Um. If you want to avoid spoilers, there's so many spoilers, as many spoilers. But uh, welcome, welcome Raiders to anyone who's new here. Hello, I'm Liri. I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And this game, I love this game. I adore this game. This game is incredible. 
And I'm also at the most endgame endgame part, so please be warned. But uh, thank you so much for the raid. I hope the Genshin went well. I hope the I hope you had a, a good Genshin stream. Hi hi, how is Endgame Outer Wilds? Absolutely incredible. I'm 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 like I'm so close to the end. I'm I d I don't know what I'm gonna do once I've finished this. I'm I I want I kind of like ah uh, I'm <laughs> You can kind of tell how the game's gotten me by the fact that I've just completely forgotten how to speak English apparently. Oh my goodness, I'm a little part of me is going to be so sad when this game is finished because then it means I won't be playing it anymore. But also, I feel like it has just been such an incredible journey, such an incredible game. I feel honored to have been playing it. It's so oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love it so much. Ah, uh, you were dating a hot pirate in Beto and a cute dog boy Goro, so it was a great time. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> That sounds like a fun time. I'm so glad you had a good stream. But thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. Uh, if you got to go rest after your stream or you got to have a have some food or drink, or look after yourself, please don't feel like you have to stick around. But if you want to lurk, I'm I still got a little bit left to do at least. And everyone is welcome. I I've, I've had so many raids today. I feel I feel honored. <laughs> Oh, well, I probably have some achievements left to get. I definitely have some achievements left to get. But uh, I think that'll end up being more like bonus streams. Like, that's not going to be like a main priority thing. I'm mostly saying that because I really want to play Talos 2 DLC next week. <laughs> but uh, it's not going to be the last of this game for me. I'm I'm definitely going to be playing more to get more achievements because it's I, I love it. I just love it. It's great. Oh, uh, oh! Uh, gotta finish up the wholesome direct. Oh, I still need to check that out. I need to check that out too. It's it's, it's like my jam. It's my kind of game. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for stopping in though. And thank you for joining me to lurk. Right. Let's find some more people. This is the piano. This is, yeah, this is Solanum. get here, I need to go, like, up, don't I? Let's go. I'm up. Up. Yes. Yeah, and I found the ship. I remember that part, at least. Hee <laughs> hee. good games oh i'm so excited to check them out i every time there's like a wholesome direct and things like that I, it's always games i want to play grab yes i got a mask i got a mask yeah i love solenum's piano having an alternate melody yeah me too it's like one of the things i really love about this is how there are so many like sound themes like whenever the namai are involved it's always like piano based and then the hearthians have that kind of like homely country kind of vibe to them and then the stuff on the stranger was more like like i d i don't know how to describe but it was like a different like vibe of music again and i i love how it's like it makes it instantly recognizable like you know What to expect? Like... Like that! Like that! Like that! Like that! Like that! That's... Like that. Are you, are you underground? <gasps> no way! <laughs> oh! 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 
How do I get down? Can I get down? Oh, it's a concert! Concert! Rotate! Come on! Come on! Come on, prisoner! Oh! Oh my goodness, this is so dark. I have to. I have to. Oh, welcome in from the raid. Welcome. I'm. Oh, wow. I don't know what I expected. I just didn't expect this. Oh, hold on. What is. What is this? What is going on in this? It's like the moment. Wait, no my. Oh, that's the no my seeing the the signal, I guess. Wait, look. The Harthians are here. The Harthians are here. The no my are here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, but how do I how do I get my lovely prisoner friend? Where are you? How do I Oh, extinguish. Extinguish the candles. Yes. Yes. Ah ha ha. Ha ha ha. I remember mechanics. <gasps> oh. Hello? <gasps> See, if I didn't know who that was, that would have been absolutely terrifying, but now I just feel, like, emotionally devastated. In any other scenario, that would be, like, complete horror movie nightmare levels of horrific awfulness. But I'm just here like, oh. <laughs> oh. I, got the, I got the instrument. Oh. Oh. Wasn't missing a horn, so it wasn't that one. Well, it's either way. It's like, I just feel like devastated for the whole... Like the, the, the fact that all of them, like they abandoned their home. They stripped their home bare to end up, like, in the, like, to just, like, doom themselves to be trapped in a matrix for eternity. Like, that, that is devastating. That's... All right, I don't want to go that way yet, because I'm a big baby, so we're going to go this way. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I went through it fast, but the figures in the framed images vanish when you blow out the candles. Oh. Oh, yeah, I was just... I was just in pure blow-everything-out moment. Hello. Oh. Ah, there you are. Got him. Um, next one. I, gu I guess I have to. I guess I should. Wait, wait.
When my kind found the eye and realized what it was capable of, they were terrified. It was too difficult a truth, like a light too bright to look upon directly. It burned them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness, obfuscated, then lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this. We weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right, yet I am still of my kind, and you know now what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stain your mind. And so, a choice. Are you certain you want to remember me? Yes. This is an instant, instant choice for me. Yes, I am certain I want to remember you. Join us. Let's see what happens. I don't want to repeat my kind's mistakes, but if you're willing to take the risk, then so am I. Look, I'm... It's not fair to judge people by ancestors' actions, I think. I think there is always a potential for change. And I'm willing to take that risk. Oh my goodness, hi. Oh, you're so magnificent. Oh, I'm so, oh, I'm so happy. You're here, yeah, okay, that was fast. <laughs> Quantum powers. And Solanum's here. Hypothesis, everyone must be here before we can begin. Once they arrive, I believe we'll be ready for the next step. I'm glad you remembered me. See, this is interesting too, because I didn't, I didn't even realize, first time I finished this, I did not even realize that I could talk to Solanum. And we were just communicating and understanding each other. But now, I'm suddenly realizing we can understand each other. Hold on. Right, okay. Okay. Let's go for the bottle. Yes, across old bark. It's the poem. In the ancient glade. It's always dark. Please. Please let me down. Please let me gather it. Please. Please. Got it. Got it. Okay. I got it. Also, pizza. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Well, come on in. Hope you enjoy your time here. Oh my goodness, I'm... Oh. Hold on, where am I? What's what's happening? Hold on. I... I can't tell if I'm having trouble with my controller or not. Okay, now I'm just in the air. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I was just stuck in the sky. It's not a problem. Anyway, not looking forward to this. I don't remember how I did this. There, that's how I did it. You can... Get right out of here, you awful creature. Oh, the jellies. Ah, uh, boop. Got it. <laughs> just as soon as the anglerfish appears, I'm just like, nope. Nope. Not happening. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Another raid. What is happening? What is happening? Hi! Azza, welcome! Welcome, welcome! How's it going? Welcome on in, Raiders! Hello! I hope you had a good Golden Sun stream! Uh, kaboom, kaboom, you saw the Golden Sunset. <laughs> nice. Nice. I, I have also seen explosions today, so nice! But uh, welcome on in, Raiders! Thank you so much for the raid! To anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK. And I love comfy games and puzzle games, and I am currently... It's its not, like, super comfy at the moment, it's a little dark. But I am currently at the very end game, end game, end of Outer Wilds. 
So please beware spoilers. If anyone does not want to be spoiled for this game, this is the end game. I am at the end game right now. But uh, thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. The Outer Wilds has been going incredibly. I'm, I love this game so much. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad I decided to play it. It's, it's, it's really, really good. But uh, I hope your stream went well too. I hope you had a good time. Seeing the golden sunset. Did you finish it then? Did you finish the game or, or do you still have more? But uh, thank you for bringing the raid this way. And if you have to head off after your stream, please don't feel obligated to stick around if you gotta get some food or a drink. But if you do wanna stick around for a bit, um, I'm about to finish Outer Wilds. Again, I've already finished this game, but uh, I've done the DLC now. So now I'm like finished finishing it, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, welcome in raiders, welcome, welcome. I hope everyone is having a, a good Sunday so far. I know I am. Although technically it's it's Monday for me now. It is technically not Sunday anymore. But uh, yes, uh, last warning, I'm about to end game out a while. <laughs> right. Back we go. Have, I, have we got everyone? I think that's everyone. I think we've got everyone now. I think we have everyone. Oh, your headset died! Oh no! Oh, I was just saying I hope you had a good stream. Did you... Did you manage to finish the game? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me yet or not. But a uh, big, big warning for Outer Wild spoilers, because I'm very endgame at the moment. But uh, thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. I hope you had a good stream. I hope you had a good time. Let's 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 get some music going in here at least. I think this is everyone. Should I begin? Not yet. Okay, yeah, I think this is. Yeah, look at this. Oh my goodness. We've got Gabro, we got Feldspar, we got Eska, we've got the prisoner, we've got Rebeck, we've got Chert, and we've got Solanum. I love this. I love this. You know what? I'm going to talk to the prisoner. I hadn't dared to hope that anyone would hear the signal for how briefly I set it free. Yet, here we are. Are you ready for the final step? Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. <gasps> yes, you can hear now! Glad to hear it. It's great. Finished a bunch of extra bosses and finished the main story. Oh, nice! Oh, so you did finish it. Oh, I'm glad you had a good stream. I'm glad you had a good time. Thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. And um, beware very big Outer wild spoilers. If if anyone is wanting to play Outer Wilds, please just don't, don't pay attention to anything that's happening. <laughs> but I really appreciate the raid. Thank you so much. Here we go. Yeah, I think I was right. I think I was right on the money that they let the signal out because they wanted to be saved hoping that, like, somebody would find them. It was a little late, but I, I did find them. I did find them. But that's really sad. Am I ready for the final step? I, th I think... I think I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Then it's time. Time to send our spark out into the darkness. Oh. Oh. Alright, Eska. Can't wait to play with the whole group again. Can you start? Yes. Won't let me down. Whistling away. Come on, Feldspar. What do you say then? Should I get out the old harmonica? Yes, you should. Aha! Here goes nothing! Come on, Gabro. What do you say, time buddy? Ready to start the music? Yes. Heh, this should be cool. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Yes. This song is new to me, but I am honored to be a part of it. Oh! I 
playing the piano music through the the staff. That's so cool. Listen to this though. Oh. I'm gonna leave chat until last. Uh, should I begin? Yes. You got it. I'll do my best. I'll listen. Right, chat. Should I begin? I think. Yes. Well then, here I go. Oh, listen. Oh, listen. Hold on. Oh, it's so loud. Oh, no. It's so late. I can't do this. I'm too late. It's too loud. I can't play the automaton at this time of night. I'm going to wake up everybody up. Uh. Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning. But I think the rules are about to change. I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Not yet, not yet. It's tempting to linger in this moment while every possibility still exists. But unless they are collapsed by an observer, they will never be more than possibilities. Oh. Tell you what, this has been really fun. And I got to help make something pretty cool, so I've got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? Yes. You cut it a little close, don't you think? Well, it worked out alright in the end, I suppose. Ah, I hope there are beasties in the next one. Of course you would, Feldspar. Also, I never realised how small Feldspar is as well. They're quite small. They're, they're shorter than I thought they would be. I don't know why that just, like, became an observation I had. Like, it, it makes sense that Chert is extremely small. They, they feel like a small kind of person. But I didn't expect Feldspar, Feldspar to be this short. Ah, oh, something I can do with the, the scout that I didn't do last time. Ooh! An Easter egg. Can I send the scout into there? Oh, connection with Scout is lost. Okay, I have no Scout now. <laughs> nice! I just don't have a Scout now. Fabulous! I'm so glad I tried that. Yep, no Scout. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> I, it's like, all you had to do is mention Scout, and I feel like you knew I would immediately try and shoot it into the the endless possibilities of anything that could happen in the universe. Like, <laughs> very me thing to do. <laughs> ah. Also, L, hello. Welcome. Wow, how long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around a campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. Oh, I feel so bad for Eska too, because Eska was so alone on the, the Atoll Rock for so long. And the prisoner, how beautiful. It's different than I'd envisioned. Whatever happens next, I do not think it is to be feared. No, oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad to have brought them along. I learned a lot by the end of everything. The past is past now, but that's... You know, that's okay. It's never really gone completely. The future is always built on the past, even if we won't get to see it. Still, it's um time for something new now. Oh, Rebecca. I'm so proud. And then, yeah, I think Chert was the first one I spoke to. I think it's time. I think it's time. What comes next? I'm ready. I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. Okay. Here we go.
every time. There's the end. And there's the beginning. Ha <sighs> ha. <sighs> what a great game. What a great game. What a great game. What what a just an incredible game. I love this game. I love this game so much. I'm I'm so I'm so enamored with this game. I love this game. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so happy. I am so happy as well that I I did the crowdfunding. I did a crowdfunding tip goal on stream to get the um the like the the physical like collector's edition of Outer Wilds. And we reached that goal and I ordered it. So I I know that I have that to look forward to in the future as well. I'm going to be getting the the collector's edition with all the things in that and I'm I'm oh I'm so glad. I'm so happy. I'm I I love this game. I love this game so much. Oh I just oh, The music is just so incredible. <laughs> it's so good. Oh wow, I'm I'm so glad I played this. I'm so glad. Andrew Pralo, good, amazing job, amazing job, thank you. Everybody, everybody involved in this game, just, I, I cannot praise everyone enough. I'm, what a, just, what a, it's just such an experience. It's such an experience. I don't know how else to word it. It is an experience and I, I love it. Outer Wilds is truly incredible. Played it over a year ago and you still think about it almost daily. Oh, I'm going to be the same. I can tell I'm going to be the same. It's it's one of those games that just, it's it's not going to leave you. I, f I feel like this is like really... <laughs> this game is always going to have a place in my heart now. It's like, it's in there now. It is wedged in my heart. And I don't think it's gonna be unwedged by anything. That's like really weird wording for that. I don't know why I said it like that. That was a bit weird. <laughs> but oh, it's just such a good game. For the DLC smiley face. for the tip oh my goodness oh thank you so much thank you thank you so much that's so generous i i really appreciate that thank you <laughs> oh listen to the music Something about this tune, this like the the light motif of this is just It is so perfect. It's so perfect. Oh. Oh, I wish I could play I wish I could play the theme on my automaton, but it is um it's basically 1 a.m. here. I I also live in a household with two other human beings and a cat, and I don't want to wake them up. <laughs> oh, I feel strong, man. That's me. I'm. My heart is full. My heart is enriched. It's. I love this game. We do a little happy crying. Exactly. The, it's like, I feel like the tears have been so bittersweet because there's like, there's so much sadness. There is so much tragedy, but there's so much joy and hope as well that springs up from it. It's just, 
Oh, it's just so well done. It's, oh. <laughs> this is the kind of story that is so... Thank you so much for beautiful Outer Wild oh. streams. Oh, Primal said, thank you so much for the tip as well. It is so appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I, I really appreciate that. But oh, thank you so much for beautiful Outer Wild streams. Thank you for being here to, to join me with them. It's so good. This is just such a, this is such a great game. I love it. I love it so much. And Eclipse, thank you for the follow too. Glad you've decided to stick around. Thank you so much. Thank you for playing Outer Wilds. Thank you for making it, development team. 14.3 billion years later. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for mentioning the scout. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, what an incredible game. Oh, that was so good. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so glad. And also, that kind of timed itself perfectly, too. I usually end stream at 1am. It's basically exactly 1am right now, pretty much. That is such good timing. That worked out so well. Yeah, also, yeah, still hoping that they make something new, even knowing it can't be more out of wilds. Yeah, I'm like, even if it's not... Like, this is, this is a very, like, this story has been completed. The story is done, and I wouldn't want it to be, like, dragged out more, I don't think. But they could definitely do s similar things, like a similar style to tell a different story. Like, the way the exploration, the piecing together works, that kind of thing. I think that would work so well for so many things, so I'd... I'd I will keep my eye on the developers. But yeah, I'm, that was so good. Now I can join the watching other, others play to vicariously live through others. Yes, I'm, I'm fully a member of that party now. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be watching other people to, 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 to get that like first time experience again. I'm, it's so good. Uh, you mean we thought that before the DLC? Yeah, but it's like the DLC kind of filled in the gaps. And I don't, Thing. I don't think there's any gaps left that I'm super curious about. Like, any other gaps... I, I feel like I've pieced together, like, enough of the story that any other gaps don't really feel like they'd be super significant. But the DLC, I feel like it was like... I thought the game was done, but the DLC shared, like, those missing pieces of information of, like, why the Nomai suddenly got this signal in the first place, why they couldn't find it again. I feel like it's like a really important context for like rounding off the Nomai story as well as the story of the uh, the beings on the stranger. So I, th I think it was perfectly done. And honestly, they'd probably be able to find a way to add another DLC without making the game feel like shallow or lessened, but I don't think they need to. But it's so good. Davia Redden announced his new studio's new game two days ago. Wait, oh my goodness, I missed that. I gotta look that up afterwards. I must I must investigate that afterwards. Yeah. But yeah, you could tell plenty of interesting stories with the Namai and their adventures in other solar systems and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like the uh the, the same like universe, but from a different angle, from a different Eight. part of it. 
It's very possible. Uh, one streamer you saw played DLC before the end and was on the stranger denizen's side of the eye is bad and needs to be locked away. Oh, I see. That's so interesting. Yeah, I wonder... I wonder what I would have thought of it if I went through it not knowing everything I did. It's a really interesting thing to think about. Because I, I already knew going in, like, I wanted to finish the game, quote-unquote, before I started on the DLC stuff. But it's... Ah, oh, it's so, so cool. Eat. Uh, yeah, I love the Stranger Denizen's fear of the end contrast with the base game. Yeah, it's like... The base game is like, this is the end, but it's okay, because it's the start of something new. And the strangers were all completely just like, this is the end. We don't want it to be the end. We're going to cling to whatever we can to make sure it's not the end. Even if it diminishes their own lives, they're like, they're so scared of that end that they just want to avoid it. They, they don't want the end to happen. Which is really interesting. It's so interesting. So many different angles to view things from as well, because different perspective things. But yeah, I I love that. I love that experience so much. I'm I'm so happy. Ah, uh, you think it's best to finish the base game before playing the DLC? DLC kind of messes with the pace of the game. Yeah, I th I think like with the amount of stuff discovered through the DLC stuff, I'm I'm glad I did it in the order I did. I think it worked out nicely. But also, I think if I had intermingled it a little bit more as well. So long as I prioritized the base game before the DLC, I think it wouldn't have been too bad either as well. But it's really interesting how it just adds it in to the game. Like, oh, well, the reason you never saw this is because it's cloaked. Hee hee. -he. Check that out. Oh, there's an Outer Wilds clip you're trying to find, but guess you'll have to link it later. Oh, which, which clip is it? I'm curious now. Yeah, they made their VR and... 100,000 years later, they're still pining for their past, exactly. It's always just... It's that kind of sad feeling of they they were so desperate not to lose everything that they, they clung to, like, this faint imaginary version of it, even though it would never shape up. They knew it would never shape up. It would never be what they wanted but they 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 were just desperately clinging to whatever they could and it's really devastating it's so devastating like the moment when i should have been scared in the one area where it's just like the one the one person just watching that same real loop over and over again in the cinema room just of their old planet and what was there it's like it's devastating it's emotionally devastating like they're they may not be dying, but they're not moving forwards either. They are just stuck. They are stagnating. They're just completely trapped there. And it's it's so it's so fascinating. It's oh what a good game. It's such a good game. I I love it. I love it so much. But uh it, it is past 1 a.m. now, so I think that's probably a good spot to leave it at for now. So with that, I shall uh bloop. I'll head on over to here, and we can find a raid target. But thank you so much for joining me for this. This has been incredible. I do still want to do Outer Wild streams in the future. I definitely want to get some more achievements and stuff. I want to poke around at every tiny little bit I can get to. But next week, um, I'm not going to play Outer Wilds next week because the DLC for Talos Principle 2 is coming out in five days. And I want to play that immediately. So so I'm really glad I managed to finish the DLC today because it works out perfectly time-wise. It's like, what am I going to be playing on Sunday? What's the next game going to be? Oh, just kidding. It's Talos 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow too. Thank you for, for sticking around. Oh, what a, what a beautiful experience, though. What a good game. I am so happy. I'm so happy to have played that. It was so good. Uh, but yes, I think it is now time for me to try and get some rest. 
and to find a raid target. Let's see who is around to raid. Who's online? I don't, I don't know who's online to raid because everyone's just raided me instead. Who else is on? Who's on? Oh, Yuri is on. How long has she been streaming for? She's probably still going. I'm gonna raid Yuria. <laughs> I'm gonna raid Yuria. I, I hope she still goes for a little bit more. But I, I wanna send the raid to Yuria. So thank you so much, everyone. It's been a lot of fun. Here are the raid messages. If you're subbed, we've got the fire, which is animated. If you're not subbed, but you still want fire, you can unlock it for 80 channel points. In the, the points menu, you can go to uh, unlock, uh, choose an emote to unlock and you can unlock the fire that's still as an emote that you can use for 24 hours. And then if you don't want to do either of those things, we, we just got fire. There's plenty of fire. But yes, I will send the raid over to Yuria. She is a red panda VTuber playing Fabledom at the moment. Comfy Sunday. I feel like we need some comfy times after, after the emotional devastation of Outer Wilds. <laughs> But yes, I will send you over Yuria's way and hopefully get some rest myself. I don't think I'm going to be resting. I think I'm going to be lying in bed thinking about this game for hours. But I can at least rest. <laughs> I'll at least lie back and rest, so it's okay. But oh, what a, what a, just, what a good game. What an incredible game in every way. I am so happy to have played it. It's so good. But yes, that's it from me for now. My schedule for next week will be up sometime tomorrow when I decide on it. But uh, I'm going to go lie down and stare at the ceiling, I think. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye!